Today's Auburn broadcast will begin in 12 minutes. Today's Auburn broadcast will begin in 10 minutes. Today's Auburn broadcast will begin in eight minutes.
Today's Auburn broadcast will begin in five minutes. Four minutes till start of broadcast. This broadcast will begin in three minutes. Here's your two minute time check. Mark. Here comes your one minute time check for this Auburn broadcast. Mark. Thirty seconds till broadcast. Mark.
three ball. A Valentine's Night special. Hoffman and Missouri meet to remain in the top four of the SEC. Both teams are seven and five. Auburn has lost its last three. Mizzou has won five of its last six. Good evening and War Eagle from Naval Arena with eight-time Hall of Fame coach Sonny Smith and Brad Law. I'm Andy Bertram. Well, the last three games have been downright frustrating for Auburn. The Tigers have led at Tennessee and Texas A&M and at home against Alabama in the second half. Auburn led the number one ranked Crimson Tide at the five minute mark of the second half on Saturday. But the Tigers have yet to close a game in the last week and a half. Missouri is on a roll. The Como Tigers got a buzzer beater from DeAndre Golston, his second of the season, to win at Tennessee on Saturday. Mizzou features the best offense, the second best offense in the SEC, averaging 82 points a game. Kobe Brown is a guard in a forward's body. The 6'8 Huntsville native leads Mizzou at 16 and a half points and six rebounds a game. Bruce Pearl says tonight is the biggest game of the season with postseason in mind. And it's hard to go against the Tigers head coach. The CBNS Bank countdown to tip off starts now. Exclusive pregame coverage of the Tigers begins now with the CBNS Bank countdown to tip off. Coming up, analysis, interviews, and a look around college basketball. At CBNS Bank, we've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Visit CBSBank.com. Alongside Hall of Fame coach Sonny Smith, here's the voice of the Tigers, Andy Burcham. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's evening from Neville Arena where the Auburn Tigers and the Missouri Tigers getting set for a key Southeastern Conference battle. Along with eight-time Hall of Fame coach Sonny Smith and Brad Law, I'm Andy Bertram. This is a huge game, Sonny, for both of these teams, and they're both going in the wrong, well, they're both going in opposite directions. The Tigers of Auburn trying to snap a three-game losing streak. Missouri has won five of its last six. This is an unusual game for me coming in. Usually you say, if your offense is good, you're going to win. We're, we, we have great defense, but we've got to get the offense going. These, this team has not does not have a great defense, but they have a superior Ooh. offense. And so it's going to be, to me, this is going to be a battle, defense versus offense, and I'm hoping the home court comes out the winner. Missouri is averaging 82 points a game, shooting 48% from the field, 75.5% from the free throw line. All five starters have at least... 25 three-pointers this season. They're all shooting at least 44% from the field and at least 70% from the free throw line. You can't get into a scoring battle with this bunch tonight. No, they, they might have the best offensive team collectively that's been in here. And and they use it up. Now they're gonna they're gonna make you play the way they want to, and we're gonna try to make them play the way we want them to. This is not a very deep team in no. Missouri, but so far, Sonny Smith. Dennis Gates in his first season in Como has made it work for Mizzou. Yeah, I, I think uh, he is, he's made nothing too complicated. They're, they're real free on offense. I think he's based a lot on his defense to make it better because they have not been a great defensive team for a while, but I think they are this year. This is a really good Missouri team. Auburn has its hand or it has its, uh, its work cut out for it tonight as it gets set for Missouri tonight. Just because the weather's chilly, well, it's actually a little bit warmer today, isn't it? Alabama farmers are, into, are, are busy growing quality products. Visit sweetgrownalabama.org to make your next Tiger's Wash Party a slam dunk. Find farm fresh greens, meats, and more at sweetgrownalabama.org. This is game two of the night in the Southeastern Conference, one already underway. To set the scene, here is Bradford T. Law. Thank you very much, Andy. Yes, better than a box of chocolates and a big old giant teddy bear. We're here with some Auburn basketball tonight. 
Auburn and Missouri. Yep, two other games scheduled uh, for tonight. Let's update the standings and the scores. Let's get right to it. From the home of the reigning conference champions to every corner of the SEC, let's go around the most exciting conference in college basketball. This is the Toyota SEC Report. No matter your destination, Toyota goes with you. Toyota, let's go places. Standings first, Alabama 12-0, Texas A&M 10-2, Tennessee at 8-4. Eight teams are separated by just two games behind those, including Auburn, Missouri, and Kentucky in a three-way tie for the fourth spot with six conference games to go in the regular season. Those teams are 7-5. and five. Missouri, uh, Arkansas, Florida, and Vanderbilt, Auburn's next opponent, 6-6. Six and six. Georgia and Mississippi State, 5-7. and seven. Georgia is playing later tonight. Ole Miss and South Carolina, 2-10, and 10, LSU 1-11. So let's get to those games. One game in progress now. Vanderbilt missed its first three shots. Commodores one of their first seven from the field, but still leading South Carolina 3-2 in Columbia. And they've played just under four minutes in that matchup later tonight. It's LSU at Georgia. More on those games as we go throughout the night. Now, what's on the menu is presented by Whataburger. How about our 60-second scout from Mike Burgermaster? How about uh, a player profile with KD Johnson, who has come on strong of late, our exclusive pregame interview with Bruce Pearl, and a whole lot more coming up uh, as we get you ready for Auburn and Missouri. What's on the menu presented by Whataburger. Head over to your hometown Whataburger for the patty melt, Texas toast, two beef patties, grilled onions, Monterey Jack cheese, and their fam famous creamy pepper sauce. It's an all-time favorite, and it's made just like you like it. The CBNS Bank countdown to tip-off continues in a moment. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs for generations. You could say we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Being a team player is part of our culture. That's why at CBNS Bank, we are proud supporters and huge fans of Auburn basketball. Whoa, Regal, hey! Visit cbsbank.com today. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Did you know the average piece of produce travels 1,500 miles to reach your plate? When you buy local, you shorten your supply chain and reduce fuel emissions to contribute to a more sustainable world. I'm Ellie Watson, the director of Sweet Grown Alabama, a program designed to help you find locally grown products. Visit sweetgrownalabama.org to search for locally grown produce, meat, honey, and more in your area. How are you the ultimate Auburn fan? Because I got this air horn installed in my throat. Pretty sick, right? Yes, you look really sick. What doctor would even do this? Doctor? I did this myself. I mean, I can't swallow whole food, but still. Wait, what? Just got to plow through it. Hey, can I get a couple of soups up there? Uh, what about some caramel tea? Don't be that guy. Get a fan card. The smart way to be the ultimate Tigers fan. Just go to auburncards.com. We've invented a new messaging system using the crisp sounds of Bud Light. Crisp code, lesson 86. This is how you say, gee willikers, it's a hot one. Let's cool down with some Bud Lights. And that's it for today. Bud Light, crisp. Enjoy responsibly. Bud Light Beer, Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. You're listening to Auburn Basketball. Now more of the CBNS Bank Countdown to Tip-Off. About 20 minutes away from tip between Auburn and Missouri tonight here at Neville Arena. Auburn Basketball brought to you in part by Auburn AV. Tigers put their trust in Auburn AV every home game for the best fan experience, and so should you. Bring the basketball game home when you have Auburn AV design and install your home entertainment system, all with frustration-free controls. Visit auburnav.com. Uh, this Missouri team is better than the last couple of years of the Missouri basketball program. They're a little closer to the sustained success Mizzou has enjoyed in the past. First-year head coach Dennis Gates, a two-time Horizon League coach of the year with Cleveland State, has the Tigers on the cusp of 20 wins. They are number two in scoring offense in the SEC, number one in field goal percentage, number one in three-point field goal percentage. But the Tigers are last in the league in scoring defense. They are last in the league in three-point defense, second to last in the league in, uh, or rather, uh, yeah, dead last in the league in three-point percentage defense. So 
a team like Auburn that struggled to shoot the three, this might be the opponent to help break out of that. Here for a little closer look at the visitors from Como, Auburn assistant Mike Bergamaster, a 60-second scout of Missouri. So Missouri's a terrific offensive team. You know, I think coming into tonight, they're ranked fourth on Ken Palm in offensive efficiency, um, you know, which is highest ranked of a team as we faced all year. Um, you know, they're really good from three. They got a lot of older players that, you know, have transferred in to Missouri. Um, they've had a lot of success throughout their career. So they have a bunch of winners on their team. Um, you know, and so they're going to play fast. Um, they're going to shoot the three. Um, and they've got a terrific player in Kobe Brown. That's a tough one-on-one -on -one matchup for, you know, anybody we throw at them. What do you look for from a defensive standpoint from Mizzou? Yeah, Missouri, um, they, they throw a lot of different defenses at you. You know, they, they're going to have a unique um, baseline out of bounds pressure both on the side and under. Um, they do a lot of switching, um, you know, uh, in the half court in their man-to-man. -man. They play some zone. They press. Um, you know, so they, they kind of force you out of a rhythm offensively. So our guys just have to do a good job of playing out of space, um, you know, playing under control and sharing the basketball. What Missouri doesn't do well is rebound. They're dead last in the league in rebounding margin. They fall behind on average of about seven rebounds per contest. But, man, this team can score and they can get up and down the floor. 60-second scout presented by the Raymond J. Harbert College of Business. Accelerate your career with an online MBA from the Harbert College of Business. Learn why they're ranked among the nation's best at harbert.auburn.edu. Well, the guy who's pushed the accelerator down the last five games is K.D. Johnson. He's averaging just better than eight points a game, but over the last five, that average is up to 12 and a half points per contest, a little closer to the 12.3 per game that we saw a year ago. You could say that over the last two and a half weeks, KD's back to his old self. He's also coming off a season-high seven rebound performance against Alabama on Saturday. Andy Burcham with uh, KD Johnson in our player profile. KD, I think back to the, the Missouri game a year ago, the, the big last minute you had there, the, the overtime game at Mississippi State. What does it take for you to get in that kind of rhythm late in a ball game? Uh, probably a few shots follow more or early. And, you know, I can have confidence on myself late. So me just getting myself prepared for today and hopefully making some shots. How important is it in that rhythm to, for you to get downhill, get to the rim? Uh, that's very good because uh, on the defensive end, you know, you, you, I'm keeping you guys on your toes. You don't know what I'm going to give you. I can go downhill. That's hard to stop. Or I can stop and pull a three. Or I can come and dish off a pass. So that's good for me and bad for the defense. Bad for the defense. We hope there's an awful lot bad for the Missouri defense tonight from KD Johnson. Hey, StubHub is the easiest way to experience every Tigers game. Check the virtual view, score your seats, get your tickets delivered instantly. StubHub, the official ticketing partner of Auburn Athletics. StubHub, be there. Straight ahead, Andy Burcham sits down with head coach Bruce Pearl ahead of Auburn and Missouri. Tip off now about 15 or so minutes away. This is the Auburn Sports Network. Get your game day started with the CBNS Bank Countdown to Tip-Off on the Auburn Sports Network. 30 minutes before each Auburn basketball game. Get a breakdown of the matchups, player profiles, a 60-second scout of the opponent, SEC report, and our exclusive pregame interview with head coach Bruce Pearl. CBNS Bank has been family, community, and financially strong since 1906. The CBNS Bank Countdown to Tip-Off, only on the Auburn Sports Network. How are you the ultimate Auburn fan? Because I got this air horn installed in my throat. Pretty sick, right? Yes, you look really sick. What doctor would even do this? Doctor? I did this myself. I mean, I can't swallow whole food, but still. Wait, what? Just got to plow through it. Hey, can I get a couple of soups up there? Uh, what about some chamomile tea? Don't be that guy. Get a fan card. The smart way to be the ultimate Tigers fan. Just go to auburncards.com. It takes hard work to be the best in the game. Planning, commitment, resilience, sweat. That's why Old Dominion Freight Line, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freight Line, official freight carrier of Auburn Athletics, helping the world keep promising. And the celebration begins at Auburn's Neville Arena. The game has changed, and the future of Auburn athletics now demands a strong name, image, and likeness program. 
I'm Andy Burcham, and I urge you to support On to Victory, the name, image, and likeness collective for Auburn student-athletes. Please take this opportunity to improve the lives of our players and give our teams the best chance of success. Learn more at ontovictory.com. Ford presents our exclusive pregame visit with head coach Bruce Pearl. At Auburn, we revere our traditions. Ford has a tradition, too, building trucks that are smart, dependable, and built Ford tough. That's why Ford F-150 is the official truck of the Auburn Tigers. Here's Andy Burcham with Coach Pearl. I mean, that's just how, uh, that's where the league is right now. And it doesn't surprise me. We talked about how competitive, you know, the league was before. Um, and, uh, you know, this is a, a, a rebuilt Missouri roster, just very, very much like a lot of rosters that we've seen uh, catching people a little bit by surprise in the sense that where did all these seniors come from? Where, where do eight seniors come from? Well, if six of them come from the transfer portal, that's exactly where they, they are. And, and uh, you know, look, it's, 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 it's how the game has changed a little bit. And, um, you know, I was talking to the coaches the other day, you know, last year, the first year of the transfer portal, we had four guys and they made a huge difference. Plus Jabari Smith, who was the best freshman in college basketball. And then you know, we brought in three really good freshmen this year. Um, who in a, in a normal circumstance would be, you know, right there. Obviously, uh, um, you know, Chance is hurt and uh, Trey's playing behind uh, behind Wendell and uh, Yo's not playing as much right now just because of, just because of all the experience that's out there on the floor. And so it's in some ways it's, a, it's an interesting lesson learned. 82 points of ball game. They have every starter has at least 25 threes. They shoot 40 some percent from the field. All five starters and over seventy percent from the free throw line. Yeah, yeah, they do, and they and they and they they're number one in the league in, in three point percentage, and, and and they make ten a game. They made fourteen at Tennessee. You know, uh, having watched that Tennessee game, it wasn't an upset. They all played Tennessee, and Tennessee's the sixth best team in the country. So, Andy, I think what it is is at, at the, right now we're playing really good teams. Every team is in its NCAA tournament team that we're playing, and so we've beaten the teams on our schedule that we're supposed to beat. The question is, can we beat the best teams on our schedule? And right now, it's been, you know, Arkansas or Northwestern or, you know, uh, Mississippi State or, uh, you know, a couple, a couple games against some good teams right in the middle of our league. We haven't been able to, knock, you know, really knock off, you know, a team at the top. How do you go about defending a team that is as good from the perimeter as this Missouri team is we'll, tonight? We'll defend them a lot like we plan on develop defending Alabama. Coaches have come up with a good game plan again and, and – uh, it's the way to defend them. You gotta make this team beat you from two, not from three or free. So if we can take away the three point shot, they're gonna drive the ball down. Can we defend them without fouling? That's the biggest question. And can we make them make tough twos? And and um, and that's that that'll be the key. Uh, can we get back in transition because they do a good job of running? We have to hurt this team on the offensive glass. They're not a very that they've got they have two weak two weaknesses. One is they're rebounding. They're not a great rebounding team. So we've got to be able to get that ball before we turn the ball over because they'll turn you over 16 times a game with their press and reaching in, so on and so forth. We've got to get shots up, and then we've got to get people you know, crashing and going to the glass, and, uh, um, and we can really hurt them on the glass. What's the key, other than the offensive glass, what's the key offensively here tonight? You know, playing off two feet, not driving in too deep and getting yourself in trouble when you turn the ball over. Uh, we talk about you know playing off two feet, meaning just don't don't one to it, don't euro it, don't don't, because they'll take charges. So get in the lane a little bit, probe and and kick it and give some, and then that guy catch it and shoot it or move it on, and that guy shoot it. You know, and, you know they'll force you to shoot some three balls. And, and let's face it, we've got to be able to make open shots. I mean, if we can't make open shots, you can't win. And you go back and look at the games that we've lost and and. Uh, the games we've played well in, um, you know, we've made some open shots. We shot it well at Texas A&M. Uh, we shot it well at home against Georgia. Um, and we'll need to shoot it well tonight uh, to beat this club and, and to have a chance for third place. Auburn won by a couple at Missouri last year. One of the big factors was Katie Johnson in the last minute of that game. He has scored double figures now in four of his last five games. What have you seen from KD, especially here in the last couple of weeks of play? We're getting in better shape and, and, and having some more confidence and, you know, playing with a good tempo, you know, against Alabama, he had three assists and no turnovers. So he was under control and, 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 and you know, made good passes and, you know, is, and every game has become just a little bit more aggressive. So if he stays aggressive on the defensive end, 
and, and, and makes a couple of open shots. And now you really start to open the floodgates a little bit. Wish all the best tonight. War Eagle. War Eagle. Hey, this is head coach Bruce Pearl. Here at Auburn, we revere our traditions. But it's the tradition of hard work that really speaks to me. It's about improving your game every single day and being the best that you can be. In the truck game, Ford has a tradition too. A relentless commitment to building smarter, tougher, and more dependable trucks. That's why I drive Ford F-150, the official truck of the Auburn Tigers. Learn more at buyfordnow.com. Not all models, trims, or features may be available. Contact your dealer for more information. Thinking of advancing your career with a master's degree in business? If so, consider the graduate degree choices at Auburn University's Harbert College of Business. Ranked among the nation's best, we offer full-time and online programs in finance, supply chain management, information systems, accounting, and business administration. Learn more at harbert.auburn.edu. Campbell under center. Campbell's going to throw on the play action into the end zone. Tops! Touchdown! Hi, this is Jason Campbell. The game has changed. The future of Auburn Athletics demands a strong name, image, and likeness collective. That's on to victory. The NIL collective for Auburn student athletes. I urge you to support On to Victory. You can improve the lives of our players and give our teams the best chance for success. Learn more at ontovictory.com. Kia of Auburn is happy to connect the Kia brand to the Auburn fans. Our winning lineup has something for everyone at almost any budget. SUVs like the Telluride, Sorento, and Sportage. You prefer a sedan? Check out the Rio, Forte, Soul, or the Sporty Stinger. And don't forget our new multi-purpose vehicles, the Carnival, or our amazing hybrid or electric vehicles. Kia of Auburn is a proud supporter of Auburn Athletics. Kia of Auburn, where you're always number one. Whoa, Rico. You're listening to Auburn Basketball. Now more of the CBNS Bank Countdown to Tip-Off. Coach Sonny Smith's keys to the game presented by Kia of Auburn, where you're always number one. We have less than a minute, Coach. We'll just cut right to the quick here. What are the biggest keys for Auburn to win this game tonight? Recognize their changes of defenses. They change defenses quite often. you got to recognize that and know what to, uh, to attack it with. And the second thing is, we have got to get the offensive boards. We got, they give up a lot of them. We got to get some offensive rebounds and stick backs. All right, easiest questions we'll have for you all night long. Look forward to your call here with Andy Bertram here momentarily. Auburn uh, is a, a relatively healthy team coming in. Uh, the, the guys who have played the minutes the last uh, couple of weeks are the guys who will play the minutes tonight. The medical report brought to you by East Alabama Health. Need emergency care? Check out the new freestanding emergency department located in their new Auburn Medical Pavilion in the Auburn Research Park. Just about set for basketball. Auburn in the white jerseys getting set to go for the national anthem. Coming up after one final timeout, we will have the starting lineups and then we'll have the opening tip. It's Auburn and Missouri, a late arriving crowd, but they are filing in here. Where else would you rather spend Valentine's night than right here at Neville Arena? With us, we are your Valentine's dates. And I know you couldn't be happier. All right, it's coming up straight ahead, you got starting lineups and the opening tip. It's Auburn and Missouri, and it's next after these words from your local stations. This is the Auburn Sports Network. Hey, Tiger fans, join Coach Johnny Harris and the Auburn women's basketball staff for the Coach J Show. The show airs live on location from Baumhauer's Victory Grill every Monday at 6 p.m. Get the latest updates on the Tigers from Coach J while enjoying delicious food from Baumhauer's. The show is available locally on FM Talk 93.9 FM and anywhere else on the Auburn Game Day app. Make your plans now to join us for the Coach J Show at Baumhauer's Victory Grill, Mondays at 6. War Eagle. Hey, Tiger fans, this is Andy Bertram. We need you on February 22nd, Auburn University's Tiger Giving Day. Tiger Giving Day is an annual day of giving where you have an opportunity to pick projects that make a difference in people's lives on campus, in our communities, and across the state. From providing health care in rural areas to making autism services accessible, we've got an exciting lineup of projects that need your help to meet their one-day fundraising goal. So visit tigergiving.org on February 22nd. Pick your projects and give. Hey, I'm Charles Barkley. Call for a Redmond and water at bars and restaurants throughout the great state of Alabama. Redmond Vodka, available at select ABC stores and package stores. Redmond Vodka is eight times distilled, gluten-free, 
and it's made from non-GMO corn. Looking to support a local business? Redmond Distilling is Alabama proud and minority owned. Learn more online at redmontdistilling.com. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs for generations. You could say we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Being a team player is part of our culture. That's why at CBNS Bank, we are proud supporters and huge fans of Auburn basketball. Whoa, Regal, hey! Visit cbsbank.com today. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. This is Auburn basketball, and these are the Yellowwood starting lineups for the Tigers. Drives to the hole, gets a guy in the air, goes up, and makes the shot with a foul on the play. Three ball, Zeb Jasper. Yes! Oh, Zeb for three! Zeb Jasper, senior, Augusta, Georgia, Lucy C. Laney High School. Into the hole off the glass. Got it at the buzzer! Wendell pops a long three. Got it! Oh. I'm going to get his autograph if he's playing like this. Wendell Green, Jr., Junior, Detroit, Michigan, Lalamere High School. 19 footer switch, it was a three. Flanagan, fourth three, bang. I had Flanagan in the hole with the left hand hammer. Alan Flanagan, senior, Lower Arkansas, Park U High. Cross court, right wing, Williams, three. Got it, it's a steal. Jalen Williams on a breakaway, left hand hammer. Jalen into the three, got it. Jalen Williams, senior, Bay Hunter, Georgia. Bramley County High School. Inside the arc, put it up underneath for Broom. To the hole and in. Broom behind the defense, puts it in. Underneath, Broom with a double hand stuff. Janot Broom, sophomore, Plant City, Florida, Ken McCaffrey. Introducing the first stain worthy of the yellow tag. From the makers of Yellowwood brand pressure treated pine comes Yellowwood Protector. After all, if it's good enough to earn that little yellow tag, then it's the perfect finish for your five star backyard. Auburn is 17 and 8 overall, 7 and 5 in the SEC. Receiving votes in the coaches poll now. Number 35 in the NCAA net, 28 in the Ken Palm rankings. Coached by Bruce Pearl out of Boston College. In his ninth season at Auburn, a record of 183 and 106. In his 28th season as a head coach on the collegiate level, a record of 645 and 251. Missouri is 19 and 6 overall, 7 and 5 in the SEC, receiving both, or receiving votes in both the coaches and AP polls. Number 44 in the NCAA net, 48 in the Ken Palm rankings. Dennis Gates out of Cal is in his first season at Missouri, a record of 19 and six. In his fourth season as a head coach, a record of 69 and 46. Nick Honor runs the point, 5'10", grad student out of uh, Orlando, Florida. A transfer from both Fordham and Clemson. Averaging eight points, 1.7 rebounds, 2.9 assists. DeAndre Golston, 6'5", grad student out of Gary, Indiana. A transfer from Milwaukee, averaging 10.5 points, two rebounds. Damoy Hodge, on another wing, a 6'4", grad student from Tortuga, British Virgin Islands. A transfer along with the head coach, Dennis Gates, from Cleveland State. 14 points, 3.8 rebounds. 69 threes this year for Hodge. Kobe Brown, 6'8", senior from Lee High School in Huntsville. 16 and a half points, six rebounds, 2.6 assists. And Noah Carter, a 6'6", senior from Dubuque, Iowa, a transfer from Northern Iowa, averaging nine points and four rebounds a game. Before we get to the opening tap today, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Auburn Sports Network. Auburn in the home white tops and bottoms of tonight. The blue numerals and lettering in the orange trim. Missouri, the away black uniforms, tops and bottoms with the gold numerals and lettering and the white trim. Tonight's officials, Don Daly, Vladimir Briard at Tadal, and Jeb Hartness here tonight at Neville Arena. It is a late arriving crowd, although folks are filling into the seats. It's been a while since the game started and there were this many empty seats in the building, quite frankly. Hopefully they will fill in as Auburn gets set 
for this one tonight. How do you keep up with a team that can score at the rate of this Missouri team, Sonny Smith? Well, there's a couple of ways. You can slow the game down yourself, or you can defend the quick tempo that they got better than their quick tempoing you. Auburn scored 43 points and lost by three at Tennessee. Missouri scored 86 in its win at Tennessee on Saturday. It shows you the potency of this Mizzou offense here tonight. Well, everybody can shoot the ball, everybody can score. They're good from three, they're good from two, and they're excellent from the free throw line. That also adds to their scoring. Dennis Gates in his first season in Como, 19 and a six. 69 and 46 came to Columbia from Cleveland State. He is a Cal graduate back in 2001. Charlton Young is on this staff, a former Auburn assistant coach. His wife is Carolyn Young, or Carolyn Jones as she went by at Auburn. Her name hangs in the rafters here at Neville Arena. Their daughter is on the Auburn women's basketball team. So there is a connection with this Mizzou team and Auburn here tonight. Yeah. Auburn has lost three straight games, Sonny. It has not closed games at Tennessee, at Texas A&M, or at home against Alabama. They've got to start finding a way to close ball yeah. games. Well, I got this saying is you got to score the ball to win. You yeah. got to shoot the ball to win. We have not been shooting the ball well lately. And if we shoot the ball well, we won't have to worry about it at the end of the game. I'd say shooting is the key here tonight. Bruce Pearl asking the crowd to get into it from the get-go tonight. He's not wasting any time. Auburn is a bigger team than Missouri, and Auburn is a deeper team than Missouri. But Missouri has 19 wins, and like Auburn, seven wins in SEC play. It will be Noah Carter jumping it up for Missouri against Janai Broom, and Mizzou wins at the tap. Nick Honor off to the left sideline. Auburn will go to the basket to our left to open play. Golston, Honor near the left sideline. Pivots, brings it middle of the circle. Right side for Golston. Picked up Zepp Jasper in a switch. They get the ball at the top for Carter. He's open for a three. He missed it. Rebound to Jalen Williams. The outlet up the right sideline, Wendell Green. Drives, baseline, gets cut off. Pulls it out to the right wing for the Tigers. They're no, playing man. No score, Auburn and Mizzou. Wendell working against Honor at the wing. Crossover, gets into the top of the key. Left wing, Je Jasper, three ball, no. It was short, and the rebound to pulled in by Golston for Missouri. Across midcourt, Kobe Brown. Left sideline, Carter. Two Brown, top of the circle for Golston. Golston, their best and most frequent three-point shooter. To Nick Honor between the circle, shot clock at 15. Honor, left wing it goes to Carter. Carter to Brown on the wing. Lobs it to the top for Golson. Picked up by Jasper. Works on Zepp, free throw line. Turnaround jumper, he missed it. And the rebound, baseline left to Jalen Williams. Attempted a pass, it was deflected out of bounds they, by Missouri. They are very patient when they get into their half court. I'm a little bit surprised with that, but it could be that our man for man defense is just a little better than expected. Wendell Green will work against Nick Honor. This is a lot like we saw from Mark Sears in Alabama on Saturday. Wendell across midcourt between the legs dribble. Gets a screen, goes off the right side, picked up by Council. Two Williams at the point. Right side for Wendell, 13 to shoot. Wendell at the point. Quinn to shoot, left wing. Three ball, Allen Flanagan, swish! Standing jumper from the baseline. He can be good on a shot like that. 27th of the year for Allen. Drive to the hole, it's up and under and missed by Golson. Rebounded by Broom, outlet to Flanagan. Cross midcourt, top of the circle, left wing at Wendell. Goes baseline and gets fouled. They're, they are trying to limit us to one shot. We're trying to limit them to one shot. The battle of the boards will be a big factor here. The foul was against Kobe Brown, their leading scorer the senior from Lee High School in Huntsville, a preseason all, first team all SEC player. And he has played like that this season. Inbound, Jalen Williams, three ball, in and out. Woo. And the rebound pulled in by Carter for Mizzou. Up the left sideline, Honor to Carter. Kicks it into the corner, off the right side for Hodge. Down to the baseline, Carter gets pinned, goes up and missed it. Broom gets the rebound. Outlet to Wendell Green. Picked up by Hodge across midcourt. 
Stays out of trouble to the right hash near the Missouri bench. 3-0 Auburn. Wendell to the basket. Left wing, Jasper goes baseline, gets cut off, brings it out to the wing for Wendell Green. Shot clock at 13 for Auburn. Green, double team. Wrap around Jasper. Right side for Jalen Williams. Shot clock at six. Jay Will, 18 footer, baseline right. Hit the side of the backboard. Broom rebounded and missed it. And the rebound out of there to Missouri and Hodge. Second shots may be the game from the clincher. Kobe Brown inside the arc, baseline left, working on Flanagan. Bumps him, turnaround jumper, in and out. Rebound to Wendell Green for the Tigers. Auburn up 3 nothing. We approach the 17 minute mark of the first half. Down to the low post, Broom spins, drives and slams it with two hands. Get it to the post, I think we can score there. We can hurt them. Boy, a spin move to the baseline and that opened it up for the two hand sledgehammer. Five nothing Auburn, 16-47 in the first half of play. Missouri basketball. Carter, left wing, picked up by Broom out on the perimeter. Hodge, off the right side for DeAndre Golston. Golston, left hand dribble on the wing. Picks it up, bounce pass at the top. Kobe Brown against Wendell, against Wendell Green. Kicks it left side, long three, honor. Didn't get it, weak side rebound, Flanagan. Five nothing, Auburn on the break. Flanagan, ahead, Broom to the hole and he walks. Honor did a nice job of getting back and breaking up that fast break. But it did show one thing, Andy, we can run on this team. They only had one guy back. Other teams have ran well on this team. Five nothing, Auburn. Katie Johnson into the lineup pretty early tonight, replacing Zepp Jasper. Also into the lineup, Chris Moore, replacing Jalen Williams. Auburn going to some depth early, yeah. and uh, Missouri counters bringing Sean East the third, or the second, their backup point guard into the lineup. Kobe Brown sits down with that first early foul. Andy, they're setting a lot of high ball screens to free their people up, trying to get Kobe Brown opened up. Carter between the rings. Lobs it into the corner for Honor. Honor gets a screen picked up by Broom in the switch. Now Golson right side, back door, shot is up and it's good by De Demoy Hodge. Now they will try to pull you out. They'll try to back cut you. They'll try to shuffle cut you. You got to be ready. 5-2 Auburn, 15-55 in the first half of play. They go to a trap, Moore underneath Broom to the hole, up and in, and, and a foul of the play. They're going to try to trick you by changing defenses every other time down the floor. That time they showed man, but came out and trapped. We can hurt them if we recognize the defense. Nick Honor called for the foul, and and one opportunity for Janai Broom when we come back. 15.50 to go in the first. Auburn 7, Missouri 2, as Auburn basketball continues in a moment. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our home. When you step onto the court, and into the spotlight. The moment to show that hard work and long days pay off. Because when that final shot leaves your hands and we leave our seats, that powerful moment connects us all. Alabama Power is a proud supporter of the Auburn Tigers. Power for a better Alabama. Auburn Bank celebrates Hall of Fame coach Sonny Smith as color analyst on the Auburn Sports Network. This is Sonny Says. Now they're all talking over. Let's get another ball. Get one that's square. So you can't do that. Pardon me. Folks can't see what I'm talking about. Though, no, can yeah. This is radio, Sonny. Thank the Lord. <laughs> Sonny Says is presented by Auburn Bank. Champions of you. Hello there. My name is Seychelle, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is the punch of flavors that's unlike any other. You get the crispy tenderness of the chicken and that hint of sourness from the pickles. Ta-da! <laughs> Hey, I'm Juan, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is you know you're going to get chicken that's crispy, golden, and juicy. This is the gold standard of chicken sandwiches. Order the original Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich on the Chick-fil-A app today. Real customers paid for their testimonials. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at AU Sports Network. Now back to more Auburn basketball. Welcome back to Neville Arena on this Valentine's evening along with Sonny Smith and Brad Law. I'm Andy Burcham. 15.50 to go in the first half. Auburn on top of Missouri, 7-2. to two. A race week is almost here for the second annual War Eagle Run Fest. Fly down the field, finish on the 50-yard line for the half marathon, 5K, or the kids' mile. Go to WarEagleRunFest.com to sign up. War Eagle Run Fest. 
Auburn.com. Nice start for Auburn. The Tigers three of seven from the field, getting the ball to the low post. Missouri opens up the game sunny, one of seven from the field. Well, one thing is for sure. They're playing behind us in the post, and they're not denying the pass. If we take it in there, I think we can hurt them, and it's already shown that, actually. And look for them out of timeouts to change their defenses. They do this a lot. Muhammad Diara is their biggest player at six foot ten. Otherwise, Auburn is bigger than Missouri, especially underneath. I'm, I, I'm guessing that's why they're playing behind Janai Broom. But Janai has four points and is going to the free throw line right now for the end one well, coming we, out of the timeout break. We got to look at, and the reason being, they're going to try to take away the three ball on us. And if they can take away the three. Well, uh, that makes you, you've got to throw it inside to get them back in there. And also, they are trying to attack with the three ball, but I don't think they're getting it right now because we're defending it so well. All three of Auburn's field goals are assisted field goals. That's no a good question. trend for Auburn. Yeah, that means it's going inside. Inside out is a way to play these guys right now. The foul was against Nick Conner before the timeout break, so he and Brown, two of their leading scorers with one early foul apiece. Honor stays in the ball game. Brown getting a rest even through the timeout break. Janai yeah. Broom at the line, 59% from the charity stripe for the six foot 10 lefty, and he makes it. All right, now we may show a press. We may show a press, but it'll be like a token press to slow them down. It's a three quarter court press by Auburn. And Honor comes out of the ball game for Missouri. And they go a little bit bigger underneath Mohamed Diara, the 6'10 junior from France, into the lineup for Mizzou. Well, they hadn't got an offensive rebound yet, I don't think. I, I think that's going to hurt them. East hands to Golston. To Diara, top of the circle. Diara, one dribble, picks it up. Drug the pivot foot. Picked up by Cardwell. Down the left side for East. And he threw it away. Katie Johnson with the seal. Up the right sideline in front of the Mizzou bench. Low post, Cardwell outside the lane. Back to KD on the sideline. Gets a screen from Dillon. Pulls it out right wing. Loses it. Gets it back. 16 to shoot. Dillon into the corner. Berman head fake. 18 footer in the air. Missed it. Weak side rebound. Cardwell back out. Berman. Three ball right wing. The Bermanator with yeah. the bucket. Second chance opportunities may hurt this team. That was a great second chance opportunity there. Cardwell getting that offensive rebound. 11 2 Auburn on top. East near the right corner. Left-handed pass out to Carter, to Diara, into the key. Working on Cardwell. Low post, threw it out of bounds. Trying to feed Carter underneath with more on his back pocket. And Auburn gets the ball after the turnover. Well, we're trying we're trying to make them go a long time without shooting because they're, they're trying to be patient, and that's helping us right now. Rebounding early on, dominated by Auburn. Eight to three, Auburn, as both Kobe Brown and Nick Honor are back into the lineup for Missouri. They oh. press. Green will work against East, bringing it up the floor. Auburn on top by nine. 14-38, first half of play. Nice start for Auburn at four of nine from the field. Green picks up the dribble. Gets it to Cardwell between the circles. Dillon drives past his man. Free throw line to the hole. Running one-hander. No, it's good. I don't know if he got the rebounder, fell in. KD Johnson goes up after a rebound or after a steal. He goes to the basket and gets fouled, and he'll go to the line for two. We're scoring points off our defense. We're scoring points off our offense. We're playing extremely good basketball right now. It is a putback by Cardwell of his own miss. Nice job to stay around the basket, though, following up his shot. Auburn 13-2, and KD Johnson at the line 4-2. The six-foot junior out of Atlanta, Georgia. Double figures in four of his last five games. Missouri gives up a lot of second shots. Not a tremendous amount compared to good teams, but they do it. Katie missed the free throw. It's, it's one thing that Bruce Pearl talked about in the film session with Auburn. He told us, he told us in his pregame report that offensive rebounds are a big, big part of Auburn's game plan tonight. No question, no question. Katie's second free throw, he missed them both. And the rebound to Diara, and they have a break. Honor up the floor for Missouri across midcourt. Left sideline for East. East in front of the Auburn bench. Skip pass into the right corner. Three ball in the air, right side, in and out for Missouri. Rebounded by Katie Johnson. 
Katie across midcourt, Berman. Left wing, bounce pass back to Katie on the perimeter. Gets a screen from Cardwell, brings it to the point. Left wing, Berman. One dribble, now to Wendell Green. 17 to shoot, Auburn by 11. 13 to 12, Green. Step back, three ball in the air. Nobody was fouled. Foul nope. will go against East. They will now make sure that Wendell was at three point range when he was fouled on the play. Pump fake hurts these people. They're, they're willing to jump on every little fake. So get them up in the air and go around them. They're gonna double check. I think they initially called it a two point foul or a two foul free throw coming up for Green. They're gonna double check with the, uh, the replay monitor to make sure that Wendell hadn't stepped back to the three point arc. I couldn't see it, so I'll go with the officials. Not not very normal to me, but I'll go with the officials. <laughs> Auburn has out-rebounded Missouri 10-4 in the early going, and Mizzou is just one of eight, and it will be a three-shot foul. So three shots coming up for Wendell Green, Jr. The foul was against East, his first. It is the fourth against Missouri in the first half. Auburn has not been called for a foul. Wendell barely got his foot back behind the three-point line, and I mean barely. First free throw, good. Uh, it looks like they're, they're, in a, they're willing to foul a little bit tonight, so we better be willing to make free throws. Auburn and that will help us. Excuse me, Sonny, I apologize. Auburn basketball brought to you in part by Ford. Check out the Ford F-150 at your local Ford dealer. F-150, official truck of the Auburn Tigers. He knocks on the second free throw, leads the league with 120 made free throws this season. And he has given Auburn a 13 point advantage with 13.43 to go in the first half of play. Great quick start, great quick start. Free throw from Wendell, three of three. And Auburn has opened up a 14 point advantage. Wendell gets a rest and Trey Donaldson is in at the point for the Tigers of Auburn. We press, but our press is basically to slow you down, make you work. Nick Honor up the floor for Mizzou. Cross midcourt picked up by KD Johnson. To the left sideline, down the sideline, Kobe Brown. Skip pass, right side, three ball, Diara. Missed it, rebound Donaldson for Auburn. Tigers break out, it's five on three. Donaldson down the right side for KD. In front of the Missouri bench, spins baseline. Goes into the corner, head fake by Berman. To the wing, Donaldson, free throw line, behind the back dribble, down to the baseline for Chris Moore, left side. Into the lane, Chris, into the corner, KD. 4-3, good! Oh, what ball movement! The ball movement is incredibly good right now. They gotta get time out. 19-2 Auburn, 13.05 to go in the first half. And I'll say this right now, this lead cannot get big enough for Auburn tonight. But a terrific start for Auburn. And a timeout called by Missouri with 13.05 to go in the first half. And Auburn up 19-2. Now, Missouri is a fabulous three-point shooting team. But Mizzou has opened up this ball game 0 of 4 from 3 to early, or early on. Great pressure on the ball. Also, also great pressure on the shooter. We, were trying, we need to take away the threes because they are so good at that. This is the best shooting three-point team in the SEC. Yeah. And have the best field goal percentage, period, in the SEC. But as we mentioned, they're 0 of 4 from 3 and 1 of 9 from the field to open up this ball game. But they can get back in a game sure. really, really quickly. Well, we have put them in a situation. they got to dribble to get a shot because right, we are taking away the catch-and-shoot shots, and that's really hurting Missouri because they're good at standing jumpers. Trey Donaldson, KD Johnson, Lior Berman, Chris Moore, and Dylan Cardwell from one to five in the Auburn offense and defense right now. Andy, one thing's happened is Kobe Bryant has only, uh, Brown has only touched the ball one time. He has it now outside the arc, left side. Picked up by Moore to the corner for honor. Picked up by Berman. Runs him over to the basket, he scores. Good Lord. I've seen knockouts in a fight. It wasn't any aggressive, it wasn't aggressive as that. You hear the crowd, it goes for a basket, 19 to four, 12.41 in the first half of play. Donaldson across midcourt, working on honor. To the top, leaves for Cardwell. 
Dillon down the left side of the lane. Kicks it back onto the wing for Donaldson. Penetrates a double team, loses the ball. Cardwell gets it and calls timeout as he went to the oh, floor. Oh, what a, what a mental play right there. He was about to get tied up. Auburn would have lost the arrow, but Cardwell went to the floor, got the timeout, and we have a timeout, I believe. Yes. Is this a full? We stand here. I think it's a full timeout. They, they said full, yeah. I believe. 12 24 to go in the first half. Nine on the shot clock when we come back. Auburn 19, Missouri 4. And this is the Auburn Sports Network. AuburnTigers.com is the official website of Auburn Athletics. Read the latest feature stories on your favorite Tiger teams. Get critical game day info. Search videos and audio. Find how to get connected through social and digital media or by joining Tigers Unlimited. Shop the AU Photo Store or just find the next event on the athletic calendar. Plus, all athletics broadcasts are streamed free at AuburnTigers.com slash watch. AuburnTigers.com, the official online home of Auburn Athletics. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our home. When you step onto the court and into the spotlight, the moment to show that hard work and long days pay off. Because when that final shot leaves your hands and we leave our seats, that powerful moment connects us all. Alabama Power is a proud supporter of the Auburn Tigers. Power for a better Alabama. We always picture the SEC student athlete for their speed, their vertical, their agility, but it's time we picture them for more. For their campus voice, their community outreach, and for the simple fact that 20 years later, they're still someone's pride and joy. More than students, more than athletes. In the SEC, it just means more. Law back at Neville Arena as we check the Yellowwood scoreboard. It's brought to you by Great Southern Wood, makers of Yellowwood pressure treated pine. If it doesn't have that yellow tag, you don't want it. Auburn's next opponent is blowing the doors off of South Carolina. Vanderbilt's up 20 at halftime, 38 to 18. South Carolina shot 28 times, had 28 field goal attempts in the first half. Vanderbilt took 28 threes in the first half, made seven of them. 28 of their 40 shots came from beyond the arc, and uh, Vanderbilt's up 20 at South Carolina. Still to come in the league tonight, LSU is at Georgia. That game's still a little more than an hour away. Here, 12-24 to go in the first half. Auburn 19, Missouri 4. Back to the voice of the Tigers and the Hall of Fame coach, Andy Burcham and Sonny Smith. 11 uh, rebounds for Auburn, Sonny Smith. That's big. 2-4 eh? for Missouri early on. Yeah, one thing about he changes up things a lot. He, he has not changed but one thing that to, at, at, in this game. Coming out of this timeout, he's going to do something different. He's got to. And I, I would assume it's going to be a 1-3-1 one, one zone. He's played that a lot against a lot of people. Auburn on a 14-2 run. The Tigers of Auburn. Got to remember to distinguish your Tiger teams tonight. Five of their last seven from the field. And remember that, that number from Saturday? Yes. Alabama outscored Auburn, I think, 44 to 28 in the paint. Well, Auburn outscoring Missouri right now, six to four in the paint. Well, they decided to take away the three-point line. They have decided that, and they're playing behind in the post. You only got one place to throw that ball to for immediate action, and that's into the post, or get in there on the dribble. Auburn will have nine on the shot clock coming out of the timeout. The inbound will come baseline right from Janai Broom. Janai to the wing, Berman to the top, Jalen. Head fake at three, penetrates to the hole up and under and in. <laughs> what a great shot. Double clutch, you call that. A double clutcher. 21-4, our Sun South drive of the game. Sun South John Deere, preferred tractor of the Tigers. Find your local dealer at sunsouth.com. 21-4, Auburn, a 16-2 run in the last three and a half minutes for Auburn. Kobe Brown, left side. Outside the arc with the right foot. Step back three ball against Donaldson. He missed it. And the rebound pulled in by Janai Broom for Auburn. One dribble, hands the ball to Trey Donaldson up the floor. Just giving him one. That's all we're doing. One shot only. Auburn by 17. 
Donaldson crossover, left wing Berman, low post Broom to the hole, off the right side, head fake at three. Three ball KD, yes! He did it with a pump fake. His guy's up about third row after that fake. 24 to four Auburn, 11-27 in the first half. East to the basket. Jump step and he puts it in with the left hand. That's the first time they've made a drive that's been effective. We've kept them on the three point line, taken away the three. Great defense. Inbound Donaldson against the double team. He runs out of it, drives to the free throw line, down to the lane, broom up for a shot, was blocked, gets it back. Does Janai free throw line Donaldson to the basket and he walks. Uh, he might he might have skipped a little bit there. I was wanting to get on the officials, but they're doing too good a job. We don't need them right now. Damoy Hodge comes out We're, and into the lineup is Caleb Brown. He is the brother of Kobe Brown, a 6'7 sophomore out of Lee High School in Huntsville. So the Brown brothers on the floor right now for Missouri. Well, that one Brown brother is one of the best players in this league. East left wing. Ball deflected by Donaldson to KD. Racing forward, right wing drives, stop, jump, scoop, gun off the glass. Katie Great Johnson jump stop. With eight off the bench. Auburn by 20 again. 26 20, 10 38 in the first half of play. Kobe Brown top of the circle against Jalen Williams. Drives on Jalen, spins at the free throw line and throws it out of bounds. I've never seen a team taken out of their offense and get their defense destroyed the way Missouri is right now. This is a very, very good Missouri team. Muhammad Diara and DeAndre Golston are in for Missouri as Caleb Brown sits down for Mizzou. Excuse me, Kobe Brown sits down and so does Aiden Shaw. Yeah, they're gonna pick up the pressure, Andy. They're gonna pick us up full court. They'll probably be running and jumping and doubling right now. It doesn't seem to matter what they do right now though. 26 to six, Auburn on top. In the backcourt, Donaldson will work up the floor against Sean East in the second. National Junior College Player of the Year at John A. Logan in Southern Illinois last year. Donaldson against Williams underneath, broom to the hole up. Didn't get it, tapped up and missed it again. Ooh, Boy, it was a nice a speed. Got a good look. East across midcourt for Missouri. At the left wing. Tigers lead it, Auburn leads it by 20. Down to the baseline, Caleb Brown or rather Golston just dribbles it off his foot out of bounds. I tell you what. Tell me. They've done everything but have a family reunion. I mean, they, they, nothing's gone for them. Five turnovers early on for Missouri, two for Auburn. That's they press. Our defense. Donaldson against the double teaming press to Jalen Williams. Ahead to Broom. Broom at the free throw line. Trey Donaldson penetrates, drives up with the right hand. He didn't get it. Rebound Broom up and in. Second shot to win them. Second shot to beat them. Seven for Broom early on. 28-6, Auburn on top. Auburn by 22. Golson free throw line. Runs through KD Johnson. Whistle and a block against KD Johnson. Well, they hadn't called one so long. I think they said, I'm going to get one wrong, get the crowd back in the game. That's the first foul against Auburn in the second half. Excuse me, the first half. KD will come out. Boy, a nice stint yeah. for KD coming out as both Zepp Jasper and Allen Flanagan return to the Auburn lineup. East will trigger against Broom, throws it up to Carter outside the arc. Free throw line extended for Diara. At the top for Golson. Had a three, didn't take it. Left wing three by Carter, missed it. And the rebound Flanagan for Auburn. Give him one shot, that's what we're doing. One bounce, shot only. Bounce pass from Flanagan, Golston. Low post rather to Broom. Janai. Spins along the baseline to the hole. Tried to dunk it, he missed it. And the free and the rebound pulled in by Carter. Missouri up the floor. Carter spins and loses it. Steal. Flanagan driving to the basket. Left oh, and oh. Emma. Hey, I would say get the crowd back in the game, but they've been in it all the time. Auburn by 24 points, and Trey Donaldson reaches in on the sideline and is whistled for the foul. Allen Flanagan with a left hand jackhammer. Well, I can tell you this, our defense has been so solid. You can't say to me as enough good things about how good it is. Auburn 30, Missouri six, 8.54 in the first. East jump step, shoots and misses. 
rebound. East gets it back, and he puts it in. Well, that happened because Trey Donaldson fell down. He had the rebound, but he fell down. Auburn by 22, 30 to 8. Broom against the press. Left side, Zep three, in and Ooh. out. And the rebound to East. Up the floor for Mizzou. East, down the left side of the lane, cut off by Zep Jasper. On the wing, Golston out of bounds off of Donaldson. I tell you, we're not, we not only allow no dribbles and no passes, we're not allowing anything. 820, go ahead. Except that time to go off that clock, we're wearing that out. Crowd takes a look at the replay. It may have gone out of bounds off Golson, not Jasper. And they get it underneath. They throw it against the rim. Diara bangs it in between the rim and the backboard. It's a jump ball, and the arrow is in favor of Auburn. Auburn. Broom got a hand on it, blocked it in between the rim. It lodged in between the rim and the backboard, and yeah. Auburn has the arrow. This man-for-man press of theirs is going to get a little more aggressive, so we got to have some help from time to time, and they will run and jump at midcourt. They've done that a lot. Jalen Williams inbounds almost to midcourt. Broom now to Jalen on the break. Three on two. Zep had pick at three. Now settles into the half-court offense. Jasper, two dribbles between the legs. Crossover dribble, left side against Carter. Gets spin, goes baseline, spins into the lane. Off the right side, Flanagan, right side of the lane. Allen backs it up on the right-hand dribble, shot clock at 10. Flanagan on the wing, long three, no. And the rebound to East for yeah, Missouri. That's a wasted possession. We didn't move the ball at all. Golston knocks down Donaldson, and it's a block on Trey, and that's his second foul of the ball game. And it takes us to a timeout break. 7.52 remaining in the first. Auburn 30, Missouri 8. Auburn basketball continues in a moment. Thanks for choosing Whataburger. What can I get started for you? At Whataburger, each meal is made to order, so you can always get exactly what you crave. If that's a Whataburger, what a meal, you got it. But if you're in the mood for something a little more you, like a Whataburger with grilled onions, crispy bacon, and creamy pepper sauce, go for it. March to the beat of your own drum. Bite into the beef of your own Whataburger creation. Whataburger, just like you like it. We've all fallen into boring routines. We just keep doing what has to get done. Isn't it time to escape the old routine and make time for yourself? Make time to go out with old friends. Make time to add excitement back into your life. Make time to feel like a winner again. Life is more fun when you live it. So what are you waiting for? Escape every day at Wind Creek Casino and WindCreekCasino.com. The passion, the tradition, the rivalries. Sirius XM is your destination for all things college sports, and we've got your school covered. On SEC Radio, there's complete coverage of every school in the conference, including live games, plus 24-7 talk and analysis. So cheer along online or on the Sirius XM app and listen to your favorite team anywhere. And now, as a college student, you can stream your first three months of Sirius XM for $1. Fees and taxes apply. See offer details and subscribe now at SiriusXM.com slash SEC Sports. Follow the Tigers on Twitter at Auburn MBB. Now, back to the game. 7.52 in the first, Auburn 30, Missouri 8 at Neville Arena. First half presented by Southern Union, conveniently located just a few miles from Auburn. Southern Union offers classes that easily transfer to the university. Endless opportunities are right up the road. Auburn has cooled off a bit offensively. Auburn is 11 and 23 from the field of 47.8%. Missouri continuing to struggle from the field, Sonny, at 4 of 16 and 0 of 6 from 3. That won't last. No. Well, right now, we're keeping the ball when they got the ball on one side of the floor. It's easy to defend when we got more defenders and they got people over there, and they're not. we're not allowing them to reverse the basketball, and that's helping us. Another thing, we're knocking down threes, and they aren't. Now, Auburn has four threes in the first half. Missouri, by the way, six turnovers in the first half. Auburn has turned that into 11 first half points to Missouri's two off of turnovers. And Auburn continuing to do the work in the paint, outscoring Mizzou 14 to eight. And in second chance point, seven to two. Coming out of a timeout, the first thing that's gotta happen here is don't let up. You got them on the run, make them keep making mistakes, keep them on the run. 
Auburn is outscoring Missouri on fast breaks, 4-0. Bench points, 13-4. That's pretty good. Yes, it is. I agree. That'll ring your dinner bell right there, I'll tell you that. I want some more of that. Cardwell, Flanagan, Jasper, Green, and more. The Auburn five. Wendell coming back into the game after Donaldson picked up a second foul. Andy, we're doing such a good job of keeping them on one side of the floor. It's making our That's defense be so, so much better. Yeah, primarily the left side of the floor. Over there, they're keeping it. They want to get Brown involved, but they can't. Down the right's our left sideline. It is Golson. Goes into the corner to the wing for East. Up from 15 for Missouri. It's good. Sean East off the bench with six points for Mizzou. All right, they're going full court. It's all man for man. We threw it away. Yep, the inbound to Chris from Chris Moore. It's our ball. Was it deflected? I think it was by the defender on the ball. No, I think this is Missouri basketball. Who? Huh. I, I might have missed one. <laughs> I ain't admitting nothing. I, well, I, I wouldn't expect anything less. East will trigger baseline left. For Brown, gets it, goes up, blocked by Cardwell. Rebounded by Jasper. Left sideline, Wendell. Into a three, no. Long rebound, Jasper. Tied up. That's a foul. Tied him up, tied up Carter, and Zepp is called for the reach in. Yeah, I can see it. I, I, I can see his whistle warming up right before that play. First foul against Jasper, fifth foul against Auburn. Missouri basketball. Trailing what? Auburn by 20, 30 to 10. East has done a nice job off the bench for Mizzou with six points. He lobs it to the high post for Golston, working on Wendell. And a reach-in foul on Wendell. Well, Auburn's fouls have come in a flurry, haven't they? Yeah, well, well we were getting anything we wanted and everything we wanted, but now we're getting a little too aggressive trying to get the ball early, and it's resulting in a number of fouls. How many, how many team fouls they got? Six against Auburn now, and they're all against guards. Actually, yeah. five against Auburn. I forgot to clean my glasses. I want to see if these officials calling it right. Golston at the free throw line, working on Wendell Green. Backs him into the lane. Gets double teamed underneath, and Kobe Brown is open All for right, a dunk. Now, we started gambling and making some very un unwanted mistakes. Chris Moore, the inbound, almost to the top of the key for Cardwell to Green across midcourt. They will be in a zone, I believe. It looks like a 1-3-1. One, one. It is a 1-3-1. One, 6-0 one. run in the last two minutes by Missouri. Auburn hadn't scored in two minutes and 10 seconds. Green at the point. Baseline left for Moore. Drives out to the top for Wendell. Down the lane, head fake. Looking underneath, goes up with the left hand off the glass. He didn't get it. Uh, we didn't have that. That's one we yeah. didn't have that we take. Diara to East. Top of the circle for Missouri. Doesn't have a three yet. Golson inside the arc for Mizzou. Head fake and he walked. You know, we're still keeping the ball on one side of the floor. They're attacking the left side of the defense, right side of the defense and left side of the floor, and they're getting nothing. I believe they might start throwing over the other side pretty soon. Golston head faked his pivot foot. Now this is a three-quarter court press and it's generally a 1-3-1. One, one. Let's see what they attack with. Looks more man than that. Chris Moore will trigger KD Johnson back into the Auburn lineup. And Auburn will get Jalen Williams back into the lineup as well. Carter out for Missouri. They're, they're trying to do everything that right. they can. This is some type of a zone type of press that they're doing. It's gonna be three quarter. Williams the inbound to Wendell Green. It's a trap. Wendell blows past it across mid court to the right wing to the free throw line. Left corner KD had the three, now takes it and makes it. Catch and shoot, he's getting so much better at that. He has to. 11 in the first half for KD. Now double digits in five of his last six games. East drives, blocked by Cardwell. Rebounded Ooh. to the corner for, for Wendell. Steps through they a double team him. right back to Cardwell to Wendell. On the break, top of the circle. Off the left wing, Jalen head fake at three. Right wing for Flanagan, goes baseline to the hole. And he double dribbled. Well, I don't know where he found that call, but I didn't see that. Berman in and Flanagan out for Auburn. Tigers up 33 to 12. Five and a half minutes to go in the first half. KD Johnson, remember the last minute he had at Mizzou last year when Auburn won by two? He was sensational. 
Well, he's been sensational in the first half today. He leads everybody with 11 points. We're still playing man for man. It's the first time it's been on the left side of the floor. Golston against Berman, up from 13, didn't get it. Rebound, Diara, and he's reached in and he's fouled. I hope it's Berman. Nope, it's Wendell Green, and that's two on Wendell. That's one of those situations where it, our guards re thought we were going to get the rebound. It started leaking out and left a wide open long rebound for Missouri. We got a rebound with the guards a little bit better. Armin right now out rebounding Missouri 17-11. Honor in and Brown out for Mizzou. Mizzou will trigger baseline right east for the Mizzou Tigers. Lobs it for Diara. Guarded by Jalen Williams, right side of the key. Off the left side for Hodge. Damoy Hodge against Berman. Picks up the dribble, throws it to Honor, who saved it from going out of bounds. Picked up now by Berman again. Underneath, off the bottom of the backboard, there's a rebound for Jalen. Bounce pass, KD. Left side of the key, into the lane. Out to the top, Jalen Williams, three. Nope, long. Rebound, Berman had it, lost it. Saved nicely oh, great save by, by Hodge. Two east. Up the floor to Hodge again. Back to East at the top for three. And he missed it. And KD gets the rebound. Auburn on the break. KD. Bounce pass oh, in for pass. Wendell. It got there, but Too Wendell much. couldn't quite pull it in. Well, it's hard to catch a bullet. I mean, that thing had some that thing had some speed on it. It had some serious heat on it. it serious heat. Yeah. 433 in the first half. Auburn 33. Missouri 12. The lowest first half point total for Missouri this year, 25 against a &M. That was at a &M back on January 11th. Uh, don't let up and don't get reckless. We don't want to be committing foolish fouls. Honor, right side Carter drives. Head fake against Broom, got him off his feet. And Janai is called for the foul. And uh, Carter will go to the line for two for Missouri. You know, I failed math in three states, but I believe this is the first or second time that they put the ball over on the right side of the floor. It's always been on the left over there. This is a very good Missouri free throw shooting team. Carter, of their starters, is the worst at 70%. As a team, 75.5% this year. And Carter's free throw is good. If he keeps looking them like that, he'll be shooting pretty good before the season's over. Transferred in from Northern Iowa, where he was the second team All-Missouri Valley Conference selection. Scored 28 against Penn back in November, and he knocks on both free throws. And now they'll pick the press up a little bit closer to mid before midcourt. On the green in the backcourt, 33-14 Auburn. Williams to Wendell. Lobs it ahead to the left side. KD goes baseline, double teamed Ooh. in the baseline. Picks up the dribble, he's in trouble. Gets the ball, it comes to Missouri. Good. Golston Good. with the steal. Janai did not move in the post. He yeah. could have had a layup. East drives, right side of the lane, into the lane. Left side of the lane, off the left wing. Out to the top for Golston. Auburn 33, Missouri 14. 344 and a county clock in the half. Golston working on Wendell, the basket he scores. Uh, we didn't get any help. They got a mismatch, took it to the basket on a drive, yeah. didn't get any help for our help side defenders. And remember, Wendell has two fouls. Across midcourt, Wendell point. to Jalen. Now to Wendell, double teamed at midcourt, spins out of the double team and is fouled by Hodge, I think. Yeah, yeah they, and that's his second. They're gonna be more aggressive, even though they're getting a little bit of foul trouble. They're gonna get more and more aggressive they're, as they go. They're turning the heat up a little well, bit defensively sure is Missouri. Yeah. 3.28 in the first half, Auburn 33, Missouri 16. Stay tuned, this is the Auburn Sports Network. Live Sports Radio, bringing you inside Neville Arena for all the action of men's and women's basketball game day with no delay. Every dunk, block shot, and steal, plus all the analysis from our Hall of Fame coaches, all with no delay. $25 new or $10 to reprogram the one you already have. Also, use it for every broadcast of home baseball and softball games this spring, all with no delay. With Live Sports Radio, presented by Alpha Insurance. And we're back with breaking news. Coke Zero Sugar might be the best Coke ever. That's right, Jim. Coke Zero Sugar is a must-try for any Coke fan, so make sure you... Jim. <laughs> Jim. We're on the air. 
Ooh, yes, this tastes like the best Coke ever to me. Your thoughts, Jen? Well, can I have a sip? <laughs> Jen, we're in the middle of reporting the news. I need to try it first. Do you want to know the secret to making a Whataburger? The secret is, there is no secret. It's simple. We make every Whataburger hot, fresh, and made to order with our never frozen 100% American beef patties, crisp, juicy veggies, fresh toasted buns, and most importantly, we don't start cooking until after you order. Now, if you want to know an actual secret, I put grilled jalapenos on my Whataburger. Whataburger, just like you like it. Brad Law at Neville Arena coming up on the Koneka Sausage Halftime Show. We'll update the one other game involving an SEC team. That's Auburn's next opponent, Vanderbilt, who is putting a hurting on South Carolina tonight in Columbia. A fairly light night in top 25 action outside the league as well. A little bit of action in the Big East and the ACC. We'll talk about that, and we'll take a look around Auburn Athletics where there is plenty going oh, on. Man. Plus the stats from the first 20 minutes all coming up on the Koneka Sausage Halftime Show. Guys, in five of the last six games, Missouri has hit a double-digit number of three-point shots. Five of the last six games. Auburn's three-point defense has been outstanding so far tonight, limiting the Tigers to 0 of 7 from beyond the arc as we send it back to Andy Bertram and Sonny Smith. 3.28 to go in the first half, and Auburn on top 33-16. On the other hand, Auburn has gotten into a bit of a, a turnover-prone here. Yeah. Four turnovers for Auburn in the last 5.34 three in the last 225 and Auburn hasn't scored in the last two minutes and 25 seconds. Well, we started rushing shots and keeping it on one side of the floor a little bit too long and which ha you have a tendency to do when you're whipping a team so well. Auburn 33, Missouri 16. Auburn has led by as many as 24. I think we should keep the heat on. Uh, they were ready to fold, but now they got a little bit of a thing going for them. We need to get them beat down again. Out of bounds down the left sideline. Flanagan will trigger with Broom, Williams, Johnson, and Wendell on the floor. Inbound into the backcourt to Wendell Green. And he's picked up by Sean East the third. Uh, we, can get the any, we can get anything in the post right now if they'll go there. Flanagan, top of the circle, into the key, down the left side of the lane into the corner for Wendell Green to the wing for Flanagan. Left side, six to shoot. Spins, turn around, jumper, good. He's playing real well right now, and he's looking for his shot. There's no doubt about that, but he's knocking those shots down. That's a big thing. Seven in the first half for Allen Flanagan as Auburn stops a scoring spell of about 245. East against KD. Off the right side, back door, threw it away. Flanagan on the break with Wendell Green. Loses it, gets the handle back. Left wing, KD Johnson. Working on Carter to the baseline, into the corner, to the right wing, top of the circle, Williams. Baseline, Green, underneath Broom. Good! The ball movement was excellent. When we move the ball from side to side, we're a dangerous bunch of people. 21 in the 21 point lead for Auburn. Janai Broom with nine points in the first half. 223 in the first half, and Auburn leads it. Hodge underneath, shot is up, it's missed by Carter. Rebounded by Wendell, ahead to Flanagan. Inside the arc, left side. Now to Wendell on the left wing. 23 to shoot, Wendell blows past Carter, to the hole, into the corner, KD Johnson three, oh. bang! Inside out passing, great drive into the middle and kick out to the corner for three. 40 to 16 Auburn, a minute 56 in the first half of play. Into the corner, it's East against Broom. Out to the top for Golston. Golston working on Flanagan. Inside the arc, 18-footer, gets his man in the air, loses it. Ball comes down to Wendell Green, Jr. Auburn by 24 points. Left wing, KD Johnson. Three ball, KD. Nope, missed it. Rebound, Broom. Up, it was blocked out of his hand. Get back. Hodge ahead. Carter to the hole. Head fake. Into the corner for Honor and a three. He missed it. Rebound Whoa. Williams, outlet Wendell Green. Auburn up by 24 in the basketball. Underneath Jalen to the hole, oh, and it was a pass. foul! What a pass. One sixteen in the first half. 
and Auburn's up 42 to 16. It's a 9-0 run by Auburn. Tigers have hit four of their last five. And a timeout called by Missouri, or was it called by Auburn? I guess it was called by Auburn. Yes. Well, I'm not sure who called the timeout. Well, it doesn't a, matter, does it? I tell you what, if you love ball movement, you could see it right here at the Neville Arena tonight. Auburn 42, Missouri 16. Auburn is just the sixth team this season to score at least 40 points in a first half against Missouri. Auburn's most points in a first half this season. Colgate, Auburn scored 47. 42-16 yeah. Auburn, a minute 16 in the first half. Auburn is 16 of 32 in the first half from the field, six of 12 from three, and KD Johnson has come off the bench to lead the world with 14 points in the first half. Well, you'd think that we'd get a lot of things on every uh, free throws and things like that, but we've been scoring the ball from the field at, an, at a high rate. Ball movement. The foul was against Hodge, his second. And uh, Jalen Williams for the and one. A minute 16 in the first half. Auburn 42, Missouri 16. Free throw. Good by Jalen Williams. I like to see him up at the line. He's so confident, and he's a good free throw shooter. Honor across midcourt to Kobe Brown in the key, working on Flanagan. Down the lane, back door, and it's up and it's missed by Diara, and a whistle and a foul against Auburn. Don't know if that is Broom. I know what I think. Oh, I think they called a, it on. I think it's a missed call. They called it on Jalen. His first. And Diara at the free throw line for two. A 60% well, free throw shooter. Crowds agree in with me. That means they're generally right. What do you think? They always agree with you, Sonny. Oh, oh okay. At least here. <laughs> Diara's free throw is missed. Diara, a year ago, led the, the country junior college-wise at 12.6 rebounds a game at Garden City Community College. Yeah, he's not, hadn't been a great free throw shooter and I hope he stays that way. 60% coming in and he missed both. Oh, and Auburn, Auburn almost rebounded ah. and gave the ball to Missouri. Had the loping play right Golson there. to the basket, missed the dunk and was fouled by Flanagan. Now we've lightened up a little bit. We're re relaxing. We need to keep the heat on well, Missouri. And here's what happened, the missed free throw. Flanagan, I think, and Broom both, with, both went up for the rebound and almost tipped it in. Yes, they did. And then tipped the ball to Missouri. And now Golston at the line, where he's a 76% free throw shooter. Right. He had the buzzer beater against Tennessee on Saturday. It wasn't his only buzzer beater win this year. He did it against Central Florida back in December. He there's, makes the first free throw. There's 57 seconds left in the half. We could shoot it quick and might get it back again, or we can hold it down and make it a one and for one. Each team with one shot time. Golston makes both, 43-18 Auburn. 2-2-1 two, two, press. Trey Donaldson breaks it. Left wing, KD Johnson. Had the three, didn't take it. Williams out to the top for Donaldson. 45 seconds on a counting clock, first half. They're in a Auburn, zone. Auburn leads 43-18. Donaldson backs up against that zone. Kicks it left side for KD to Trey. Underneath, Jalen. Underneath, Broom. Put it up, Ooh. it was blocked. Got it back, put it up and in. Great pass from Jalen from post, high post to low post. Janai Broom's 75th career double-digit scoring game. Auburn up 45-18, final 19 seconds of the first half. Don't foul him. Left side honor near the Auburn sideline. To the top for Kobe Brown against Allen Flanagan. Brown hands the ball to Golston between the circles. Picked up by Donaldson, four, down to three, down to two. He loses it, KD Johnson with the steal. From behind midcourt, almost put it in, and the first half comes to a close, and what a half of basketball by Auburn. You what a half of basketball by Auburn. Yes, you won't see better than that. That's incredible. It is the lowest output by a team this season against Auburn in the first half. Auburn 45, Missouri 18. Time now for the Kaneka Sausage Halftime Report. 
Here's the flash from Piedmont, Alabama. Bradford T. Law. Sounds to me like the team got the <laughs> message that this was a must-win game. Uh, you're talking about the best defensive effort from a scoring perspective this year and two points away from tying the best offensive output in a first half this year. Auburn 45, Missouri 18. Let's get to the Koneka Sausage Halftime Show. The Koneka Sausage Company is proud to be the official smoked sausage and hot dog of the Auburn Tigers. Make Koneka Sausage part of your game day and family traditions. Well, we start with other SEC action, and it's a good thing Auburn is red hot tonight because so is its next opponent. They are raining threes right now in Columbia, South Carolina. That's where Vanderbilt is, and the Commodores are crushing the Gamecocks 56-39. to Now, that's a 17-point margin. It's actually closer than it has been. Doors have led by as many as 22. Vanderbilt has made nine threes. They haven't shot a high percentage. The most of their shot attempts have come from three. They're doing that on the road. They've made nine of them. And Vanderbilt looks to be well on its way to a seventh conference victory. They're trying to get a game above 500. And again, Auburn will be in Nashville for a 7.30 Central time game Saturday night. 56-39, now 58-39. Vanderbilt on top of South Carolina with nine minutes to go. Coming up in a little more than a half hour in Athens, Georgia takes on LSU. Bulldogs trying to, uh, or they uh, enter the week in one of those bottom four spots in the SEC standings, trying to climb out of that Wednesday window for the SEC tournament, which will get underway three weeks from tomorrow in Nashville. So that's the other action in the SEC tonight. There are four games on the docket tomorrow night, including the top ten battle on Rocky Top, where Tennessee tries to halt a two-game slide. Volunteers at home against new na national number one, Alabama. Crimson Tide ranked number one for the first time in two decades, and they go into Thompson Bowling Arena against the Tennessee Vols for a rivalry matchup. Kentucky is at Mississippi State tomorrow night. Texas A&M welcomes Arkansas to College Station, and Florida plays host to Ole Miss. Those are the games on the docket in the SEC tomorrow night. Tonight in the top 25, two matchups underway now. Halftime in Syracuse with the Orange lead, number 23, NC State, 35-31. They've also reached halftime in Providence, a top 25 battle in the Big East. Number 18, Creighton, a one-point edge over number 24, Providence, 37-36. Here, our score is not quite that close. Auburn 45, Missouri 18. We'll look around Auburn Athletics. When we come back to Neville Arena, you're listening to the Koneka Sausage Halftime Show. This is the Auburn Sports Network. From Auburn to Corvallis to Omaha, the Tigers are going to the College World Series. February 17th, the Tigers return to the Diamond. Here comes Ware. He makes the catch going to his knees. Faces clearing double by Cole Foster. This is your home for Auburn baseball. That one sails into the night and over the wall. He struck him out swinging. A complete game victory for Joseph Gonzalez. The Auburn Sports Network. Southern homes are particularly vulnerable to termites. In this climate, you need guaranteed protection. You need Cook's Pest Control and Centricon. Termites attack the Centricon stations, exposing themselves to an agent that eliminates their entire colony. Upgrade from old-fashioned liquid service to the proven protection of Centricon and Cook's Pest Control. Call Cook's today for a free evaluation. Looky, 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 here comes Cookie. Cook's Pest Control. In 1925, the trash that needs taking out, the pesky check engine light. What I want. Isn't it time to make a change and escape to a whole new world of possibilities? Where there's dinner without dishes, nights filled with adventure, and every day you feel like a winner. A little change can go a long way when you escape every day at Wing Creek Casino and WingCreekCasino.com. We're back on the Koneka Sausage Halftime Show from Neville Arena where it is all Auburn tonight over Mizzou, 45-18. And uh, we'll take a look around Auburn Athletics. This is a busy time of the year. We're getting into the spring sports, softball open play in Clearwater, Florida over the weekend and went 4-1 and one with all four wins coming in shutout fashion. Softball is in action at home. The home opening a weekend at Jane B. Moore Field in the Tiger Invitational, and that will start with two games 
on Friday. Auburn will take on Austin P at 3 o'clock Central Time. And then after that, the Tigers will take on Villanova. They'll play five games over the course of the three days on the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, beginning with Austin P at 3 o'clock on Friday afternoon. It's baseball time at Plainsman Park coming off of a College World Series appearance. Butch Thompson and company are back on the diamond this weekend against the Indiana Hoosiers. Uh, the uh, first game of the series was originally scheduled for 6 o'clock on Friday. However, because of weather, expected frigid conditions and heavy winds, they've moved up game one of that series a couple of hours to 4 o'clock Central Time. So game times this weekend for the baseball series against Indiana, 4 o'clock Friday, 2 o'clock Saturday, and 1 o'clock on Sunday. Women's basketball will be in action uh, a couple of times over the weekend. They'll be here at Neville Arena on uh, Thursday night at 7 to take on Texas A&M. And then on Sunday, women's basketball heads to Knoxville to meet Tennessee for an 11 a.m. start uh, against the Lady Vols up on Rocky Top. So lots going on this weekend, and that barely scratches the surface. Gymnastics is in action uh, on Sunday at Missouri. And uh, Darian Goborn earlier today named the SEC Specialist of the Week. Tigers coming off of a big top 10 win over LSU last weekend. Uh, find out more, get tickets, schedules, everything else you need to know about game day, whichever game you may be planning to attend here on the Plains. Go to auburntigers.com and get all the information that you need. All Auburn in the first half, 45-18. The Tigers lead Missouri. We'll give you the stats from the first half when we come back. Before we do that, though, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Auburn Sports Network. Tigers on top of Mizzou, 45-18. The Koneka Sausage Halftime Show continues in a moment. Koneka Sausage is a product we all know and love, and it's the official sausage and hot dog of the Auburn Tigers. Koneka Sausage is made from the finest cuts of pork, patented blend of seasonings, all natural casings, and smoked over a pure hickory fire for that true southern flavor. Enjoy a crowd-pleasing Koneka Sausage dog or premium hot dog while watching the Tigers and make Koneka part of your game day or any day. Koneka Sausage is celebrating their 75th year at the Sessions family, making their premium smoked sausage in Evergreen, Alabama. Be sure to visit the new Koneka gift shop right off I-65 at exit 96. In 1925, Modelo began brewing beer for those who believe in better. A model beer, steeped in the tradition of tireless effort. A rich, Pilsner-style lager for those who wear their heart and heritage on their rolled-up sleeve. Since our first batch to every bottle raised today, we've proved that it doesn't matter where you come from. It matters what you're made of. Modelo Especial, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Drink responsibly. Beer imported by Crown Imports, Chicago, Illinois. In SEC sports, the ifs come at you every minute. What if your QB had released the ball a second earlier? What if the head coach hadn't used his last time out? What if your team goes all the way this season? If you love the tradition, if you live for the rivalry, if you can't wait each week for the absolute edge of your seat action, Regions is right there with you as the official bank of the SEC. Regions can't help you with the ifs in sports. Regions helps you embrace the ifs in life. Member FDIC. This is Auburn head coach and proud Ford F-150 owner, Bruce Pearl. The thing I hear most when people get in the cab of my F-150 is, this truck is huge. Well, I drive around some pretty big players, and when I get a seven-footer in the back seat and he's able to spread out, he's just blown away at how roomy and comfortable this truck is. So visit your local Ford dealer and check out Ford F-150, the official truck of the Auburn Tigers. Not all models, trims, or features may be available. Contact your dealer for more information. Auburn by 17. Donaldson crossover, left wing Berman. Low post broom to the hole. Off the right side. Head fake at three. Three ball KD. Yes! Yep, that sums up the first half. KD Johnson, a one man wrecking crew. Five of six from the floor. He had 14 points. Added two steals, two rebounds as well. And uh, Auburn leads Missouri 45 18. KD almost equaled Missouri's team scoring in the first half. 14 for KD, 18 for Mizzou. Tigers up big here at halftime. Halftime stats brought to you by the Alabama Department of Public Health. Listen, don't wait. Vaccinate. Protect yourself and others against COVID and flu. Visit alabamapublichealth.gov slash IMM and read the latest. Auburn white hot, 50% from the floor, 6 of 12 from 3 
as well. And five of seven at the free throw line. Mizzou, the number one field goal percentage team in the SEC, held the 27% at seven of 26. Top three point percentage team in the league went 0 for eight from distance. The Tigers did knock down four of their six free throws in the first half. All right, leading the way in scoring was Sean East for Mizzou. He had a half a dozen points. He also had three rebounds. He had three turnovers as well for Missouri. Four points for DeAndre Golston. And uh, Kobe Brown and Des Moines Hodge are the guys who take a third of their shots. Well, they combined to go two of six from the floor. They combined to score four points in the first half for Missouri. Auburn just doing a terrific job defensively against this Missouri team. Auburn was led in scoring by KD with 14. Janai Broom added 11 points, eight rebounds, one assist, and one block in the first half. Also scoring for the Tigers, Allen Flanagan, who had seven points, two rebounds, and two steals. Five points for Jalen Williams and three boards. Also a steal for Jalen. And uh, then rounding out the scoring, three points, three rebounds, six assists for Wendell Green Jr. and a steal to go with it. Three points for Lior Berman and two points and three rebounds plus an assist and two blocks for Dylan Cardwell. There are a lot of pretty numbers to go around after that first half of basketball. It all adds up to a 27-point Auburn lead. Once again, your score as we wrap up the Koneka Sausage Halftime Show and Missouri makes its way back out onto the floor. Auburn 45, Mizzou 18. You've been listening to the Koneka Sausage Halftime Show. Make Koneka Sausage part of your game day. Still family owned and made in Evergreen, Alabama since 1947. The second half is two minutes away. This is the Auburn Sports Network. Hey, Tiger fans. Join Coach Johnny Harris and the Auburn women's basketball staff for the Coach J Show. The show airs live on location from Baumhauer's Victory Grill every Monday at 6 p.m. Get the latest updates on the Tigers from Coach Jay while enjoying delicious food from Baumhauer's. The show is available locally on FM Talk 93.9 FM and anywhere else on the Auburn Game Day app. Make your plans now to join us for the Coach Jay Show at Baumhauer's Victory Grill, Mondays at 6. War Eagle. Koneka Sausage is a product we all know and love, and it's the official sausage and hot dog of the Auburn Tigers. Koneka Sausage is made from the finest cuts of pork, patented blend of seasonings, all natural casings, and smoked over a pure hickory fire for that true southern flavor. Enjoy a crowd-pleasing Koneka Sausage dog or premium hot dog while watching the Tigers and make Koneka part of your game day or any day. Koneka Sausage is celebrating their 75th year of the Sessions family making their premium smoked sausage in Evergreen, Alabama. Be sure to visit the new Koneka gift shop right off I-65 at exit 96. North American beavers are excellent swimmers, but on land, they waddle about clumsily. That is until they spot the yellow tag on a stack of yellow wood brand pressure treated pine. Their instincts kick in and the colony springs into action. <laughs> Just like that, these master builders make off with their new found building materials. For five-star backyards, yellow wood brand pressure treated pine. If it doesn't have that yellow tag, you don't want it. It's a great day for Auburn Tigers to get vaccinated. COVID and flu vaccines are an important tool to help stop the pandemic. The Alabama Department of Public Health is offering the COVID and flu vaccines to anyone six months and older. COVID and flu. The COVID and flu vaccines are safe, effective, and free. COVID and flu are still on the rise. Don't let COVID and flu stop you from supporting your favorite team. Continue to help protect yourself, your friends, and our campus by getting the COVID and flu vaccines. For more information, visit alabamapublichealth.gov slash IMM. The second half spark is brought to you by the finest electricians in the world. The brothers and sisters of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local 613. All right, Sonny Smith, what's your spark after such a fine first half of basketball at both ends of the floor and Auburn leading 45-18? Quick start, don't let up. That's the big thing. That, I agree with that. That's the thing that you've got to deal with when you got this kind of thing going. And here's something else. They're going to change defenses quite often. I've seen him do it in other games. We got to recognize the defense where we shoot too quick. You look at, at this Missouri team, and they are, they've won 22 straight games, dating back to last season, where they have scored 70 points or more. They got a ways to go to get to 70, tonight i'm just saying 
this offense has the ability oh, to sure. put up some huge, huge numbers. Absolutely. The one thing that jumps out at me is we have kept the ball on one side of the floor. We have not allowed them to reverse it easily. So consequently, they're not getting many threes up and they're having to try to drive it into the lane and we defended. We've only given them one shot and that's a big deal right there. Missouri, one of the best three point shooting teams in the SEC went Take. 0 for 8 in Taking the first half. They average, they shoot 48% from the field per game. They were 7 of 26 from the field in the first half. Now, you've got to think that Dennis Gates and his staff challenged like crazy this Missouri team just to come out and, and compete better yeah. in this well, second half of play. If you think about this, I don't remember a fast break layup by them. They might have got one, but we have kept the ball and kept the game in a half-court game, and maybe that's a real key to hurting this team. Missouri will have the ball to open the second half with Auburn on top. 45-18, Auburn's starters, Wendell Green, Zepp Jasper, Alan Flanagan, Jalen Williams, Janai Broom, Nick Honor, DeAndre Golston, Demoy Hodge, Kobe Brown, Noah Carter, the starting five for Missouri. We're still playing man. Honor across midcourt against Wendell Green. Out to the sideline, top of the circle for Carter. Left wing for Golston. Golston left wing, right hand dribble. Now to the top it comes for Demoy Hodge to Carter working on Broom at the top of the circle. Right wing for Honor against Jasper. Shot clock at nine. They lob it to the low post. Shot is up and it's missed by Hodge. Yeah, he got an open look and then he fouls Janai Broom after the rebound. Well, they try to, they're trying to get a mismatch and they're, they're looking at Wendell Green as being a mismatch because the guy's guarding's about 6'5", six, 6'4". Six, and that's where they're going. Now they're gonna press with a full court. That was the third foul, by the way, against Damoy Hodge. And they gotta have him. Absolutely. And I don't know if they're going to look at the foul. Could be. It was kind of aggressive. Well, Broom got the rebound and got tied up with Damoy Hodge, who didn't really release after Broom had the rebound. They are going to take a look at it. Nonetheless, I thought the way he bounced away from him up towards the out of bounds that they might have hit him. Well, and I, sure. I think Missouri is saying that Janai Broom then clamped Hodge's arm against his, his side and didn't allow Hodge to get away from him. Yeah, that's uh, that's something they don't need to be looking at here to start second half because nothing bad happened for either team. Well, we've taken a look at the replay and was it bad? Uh, there, there, there may be. I know. On broom? I, uh, possibly. Or no foul at all. I don't know. Well, that's uh, that would be. Uh, how many fouls on broom? That will, well, uh, Jan Janai has one. But I, the call, I think, I think what Missouri is arguing is that that one Broom shot. clamped him, and I. They, they come up and pointed up one finger. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Give him one more shot, and we're going to get him. That, maybe that's it. I, it's too long to look I, at something. I, I don't think they're going to. I don't think they're going to change the call. No. Both teams have gone to their well, they're benches. Going, they're going to our bench first. And we've got a timeout called by Missouri. 19-33 in the second half of play. Auburn 45, Missouri 18. They're explaining to the TV folks the call. We'll try to get it when we come back. Auburn up 45-18. Auburn basketball continues in a moment. Well, hey, I don't I'm Charles Barkley. Call for a Redmond and water at bars and restaurants throughout the great state of Alabama. Redmond Vodka. Available at select ABC stores and package stores. Redmond Vodka is eight times distilled, gluten-free, and is made from non-GMO corn. Looking to support a local business? Redmond Distilling is Alabama proud and minority owned. Learn more online at redmonddistilling.com. I love working on my cars, but I wish I had more space for my shop. 
Give General Steel a call. In business for over 30 years and with over 5,000 five-star customer reviews, General Steel can help with projects ranging from RV storage and garages to churches, workshops, and even major construction for Fortune 500 companies. And all General Steel custom buildings are backed by our 50-year warranty. But that's got to cost a fortune. Actually, General Steel buildings are more affordable than other building options. And thanks to our highly efficient construction, you can go from dreaming it to enjoying it in no time. I need to give the General a call. How do I get more information? Call 866-96-STEEL or visit MyGeneralSteel.com to find out what General Steel can do for your home or business. That's 866-96-STEEL. Our team will answer your questions and offer you a customized quote. Just call 866-967-8335 now or MyGeneralSteel.com. Auburn basketball is brought to you by Alabama Power. At Alabama Power, we give 100% to achieve 99.9% .9 dependability. Our commitment helps deliver power for a better Alabama. Welcome back to Neville Arena on this Valentine's evening. Auburn leading in Missouri, 45-18. We're 27 seconds into the second half. A missed shot by Missouri, a rebound by Broom, and a foul initially called against Demoy Hodge, his third. They went to the replay monitor. I, I'm sorry, I can't tell you exactly what they were reviewing, but the call will stand and Auburn will have the ball up 45-18. Auburn basketball is brought to you by East Alabama Health with more than 70 new positions added in the past four years. They're growing their health care team to meet the growing needs of Auburn, Opelika, and the surrounding area. I've never seen this long taken about something that probably meant nothing. Well, it, they, they went to the replay monitor and then Missouri called a timeout. And the first timeout called by either team in the second half is always a full timeout. It was a timeout called by Missouri. It was a 30, but every first timeout of the second half, regardless of either team, goes to a full. I don't know if they were looking at a possible hook on Janai Broom, who did kind of pin Hodges' arm inside his, well, almost armpit, so to speak but the call will stand, Auburn will have it. I can say one thing, they've changed the press that they're gonna use. They got a man on the ball, and it, 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 this will be traps every time they can get the ball on the sideline. Jalen Williams throws it inbound to Zepp Jasper across midcourt. He centers the ball off the right side, now gets it to Jalen Williams, to Wendell Green. Wendell picked up by Hodge, who has three fouls. Wendell steps back between the circles. Now picked up by Kobe Brown. 15 to shoot for Auburn. Wendell, left corner. Jalen penetrates. At the top, it's Wendell. Down the right side of the lane, spins into the lane. Off the left side, head fake. Jalen on the wing, drives, and he walks. He must have been hunting for something there. Only about the only thing walking was him. The official. 1907 in the second. Auburn 45, Missouri 18. Remember, this is a Missouri team that scored 86 in beating Tennessee on Saturday. All right, we're playing man. Honor across midcourt, picked up by Zepp Jasper, almost at midcourt, to the left wing. Down the left side of the lane for Honor, near the baseline, against Flanagan. Bumps him four times, off the right side, three ball in the air, and it's good by Demoy Hodge. Their first made three of the game. Yeah, they went, they went to Kobe Brown right off, but he kicked it out for a wide open shot. 45-21, Auburn Tigers break the press. Flanagan to the basket, up and in with a foul. Auburn attacked the trap and the press, and Allen Flanagan with the end one opportunity. Allen Flanagan is becoming a more aggressive attacking of the basket. And that, that's going to open up a lot more of his game for him, so he can shoot the mid-range jumper, and he's good at that also. The foul was called against Kobe Brown, his second. And Allen, with this free throw, could be the third Auburn player in double digits in scoring. And he is. Now, we don't want this to become a fouling contest now. We don't want to get caught up in that. Auburn 48, Missouri 21. 18-30 in the second half. Left wing, Golston, top of the circle, picked up by Broom and a switch. 
to Honor, who goes baseline, running one-hander, good. Jasper fell down, and Honor was free along the baseline. Honor's a very aggressive point guard. He's not a great handler, but he's a very aggressive point guard. Auburn breaks the pass, press a pass from Jalen to Jasper, and now to Wendell between the circles. Wendell on the right-hand dribble, 18.06, second half. Auburn leads 48-23. Jalen to Wendell, outside the arc. 11 to shoot, Flanagan penetrates, and a foul called against Golston. That will be the first foul on DeAndre Golston, the grad student out of Gary, Indiana, who has Coach. two buzzer-beating winning shots this year against UCF and last Saturday at Tennessee. Coach Farrell's getting on them pretty heavy because we're not feeling a guy in the post to get the ball wide open or in a mid post, and that, that is so open. Flanagan will trigger, it comes to Jalen. He drives, leaves it for Broom, gets it, goes up, and draws the foul on Carter. That'll be the first foul on Noah Carter. I'd say, I'd say Broom's gonna need a face, net, face mask and, broad, and brass knuckles for this over because oh they're goodness. really going after him. Well, the, the, there's no question that Missouri has ramped up its defense in the second no half. Question. What Aggressive. does it have to lose? And Broom makes yeah, the free that's throw. A, that's a good point. That is a good point. Janai's 48th career double-figure scoring game. That's incorrect. His 75th. He missed the second right, free gotta throw. Got to get back. Carter up the floor for Mizzou. Left wing. Auburn up 49-23. Golston underneath. Drives on on. Uh, Wendell Green and goes up for the shot. He's fouled right. by Wendell. That's you, the third can, foul on Wendell Green Jr. You can see what they're trying to do right now. They think they got a mismatch against Wendell Green. So they're taking him to the post and throwing the guy to the ball to the guy that's guarding. So he's been down twice and, and he got, they got one foul out of it. Golston, 76% free throw shooter makes the first. Seventeen forty-four to go in the second half. Auburn 49, Missouri 24. Second free throw, he got it. This game's been all, uh, in the start second half, has been all fouls and timeouts. Seventeen forty-one to go, second half. Auburn up 49-25. Williams against the press. No look to Broom. Down the lane to the hole. Double <laughs> hand dunk, and he went down hard. Oh, boy, he uh, went down hard. I don't think he's hurt. He has 14 points in the contest, does Janai. He has nine rebounds. He's one rebound away from his eighth double-double in the SEC. I think he's I think he's okay. He gets up and goes off the floor, and Dylan Cardwell is in. And he immediately takes a look at his right foot. Like he's going to take off his shoe. Spring. He's had a problem with that foot before. So Cardwell replaces Broom, who now gets some treatment from Auburn's athletic trainer, Clark Pearson. Let's see if they go to the one-on-one -on -one in the post. 51-25 Auburn. Missouri basketball, Kobe Brown. Low post, Hodge up, missed it. May have been blocked from behind by Jasper. Rebounded by Flanagan. Allen weaves his way through traffic. Gets it to the left wing. Backs up near the Auburn sideline. Hands the ball to Williams in a double team. Step through that double team, Wendell. Now for timeout. The pass never should have gained to no. Wendell in a double team with the sideline right there. Yeah, that gave you two sideline traps, and you don't want that. This is a 30-second timeout, I think. Yes, that's what they asked for. I think that's what they got. For every Auburn three-pointer, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services donates $25 to Coach Pearl's Outlive Cancer Initiative, benefiting local cancer patients and a treatment center. Six threes already on the night for Auburn. Might sound crazy, but we got to do something to get the crowd back in the game. Nothing, they, they, right. they're they sitting on their hands right now. Of course, I've been sitting on mine. Ain't nothing happened because all these timeouts. Well, Missouri's going to try and disrupt the flow of this game oh, they are. for the <laughs> entire half. That is a great point. That's exactly what they're trying to do. They're also trying to create mismatches at the bucket. Flanagan will trigger down the left sideline in front of the Auburn bench with 18 to shoot. I think they're in a zone type of defense on this. Out of looking, inbound Jalen. Double team, stays out of the double team. Free throw line to the top for Williams. Right wing, Zep, three, yes. Good passing, unselfish play. 
has been a great thing to watch in this game. Seven threes tonight for Auburn, the first of the night for Jasper. 54-25 Auburn, drive into the lane. Golston double teamed, and he's fouled. I think before the shot that he made. I think so. It's gonna go against Jasper. It'll be the second foul on Zepp. And Missouri will have it out of bounds, baseline left. Rock's been dead the whole half. 16-44 in the second, Auburn up 54-25. Seven threes, Auburn seven of 13 from three in the ball game. They're gonna look for Brown inside. And we won't let him have it. And the inbound uh, up the sideline, Wendell Green went for the steal but stepped out of bounds. Off the bad pass from Demoy Hodge. And here comes Sean East, the second, replacing Kobe Brown. East, their leading scorer with 12 off the bench in the first half. Kobe Brown has been shut down pretty good, huh? I, I apologize. East had six points in the first half for Missouri. Yeah, Brown has been shut down almost completely. He has two points. Honor, high post pass knocked away by Williams. It's run down by Golston. Golston down the right side of the lane against Jalen, and he walked. Well, that, oh. was, that was great one-on-one -on -one defense he, by Jalen Williams. Well, he's been playing great defense. But he's not the aggressive type, beat on you, shove you around. He stays between you and the ball. He keeps his hands to himself and doesn't foul out. Muhammad Diara is in replacing Carter on the low post. They also go to Aiden Shaw, a freshman from Overland Park, Kansas. And they got, got, a, got a brief spent or stint in the first half. Yeah, they got nothing to lose, so they're going to be really aggressive on the press. Inbound Wendell Green against the press. Drives to the cross midcourt. Out to the left wing. 24 to shoot for Auburn. Tigers up 54-25 on Missouri. Wendell steps around Diara. Down the lane. Left wing. Zep. Three. Yes! Oh Great Zep. basketball. Dribble into the lane. Kick it out for three. We are very good at that. Seven assists in the game for Wendell Green Jr. 57-25 Auburn. 16-03 second half. Hodge three missed. Rebound Jasper. Outlet Wendell Green. Up the floor. Blows past Hodge. Down the line. Lobs it. Green go or whether Williams goes up. Missed it. Got it back. Goes up. Missed it. Got it back. Off the glass. Oh. Again. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Seven for Jalen Williams. Boy, that's great effort right there. 59-25 Auburn. East goes baseline, cut off by Cardwell. Now drives into the lane, left hand hook, he missed it. Rebound Dillon, tied up by Shaw. That's a jump ball, I believe. And it's a jump ball and Auburn has the arrow. That's a good call. Most people would have called that a foul. Two good officials, three good officials, call it what it was. 15-32 to go in the second half. Auburn 59, Missouri 25. And this is the Auburn Sports Network. Download the Auburn Game Day app. Find tickets, skip concession lines, be a part of game day giveaways, shop the latest Auburn gear, stay current with a comprehensive social media stream, participate in game day light shows, plus listen to every Auburn Sports Network broadcast, even when multiple games are happening simultaneously on the official mobile app of Auburn Athletics, the Auburn Game Day app. Get it today. Are you looking to advance your career without putting your life on hold? Consider the flexibility of an online MBA at Auburn University's Harvard College of Business. Ranked among the nation's best by U.S. News and World Report, our 100% online MBA program provides the flexibility you need to pursue a degree while maintaining your personal and professional life. Learn more at harvard.auburn.edu. When you see the SEC student athlete, it's easy to picture the swing, the stance, the form. But look closer, and you'll see the heart, the brain, the clutch lab partner, the avid two-stepper, the pride of a hometown, and a little brother's hero. More than students, more than athletes. In the SEC, it just means more. Law at Neville Arena as we check the Yellowwood scoreboard. Auburn's next opponent is Vanderbilt, and the Commodores are going to go 
to seven and six in SEC play. Not without a struggle in the second half, though. Vanderbilt leads South Carolina 75-64. They're inside of 30 seconds to go in that game. But Carolina has scored 46 points in the second half. So that was after Vanderbilt limited the Gamecocks to just 18 in the first half. So both Auburn and Vanderbilt will have held their previous opponents to 18 points in the first half when the Tigers and Commodores hook up Saturday night in Music City, USA. That's also a special day for reasons we'll tell you. Well, no, we won't. Maybe we'll tell you Saturday. Right now, 15.32 to go in the game. Auburn 59, Missouri 25. Auburn is on a 10-0 run as we kick it back now to the voice of the Tigers and the Hall of Fame coach, Andy Burcham and Sonny Smith. No one gets you closer to college basketball than Sirius XM. Download the Sirius XM app. Take your Auburn Tigers with you all season long. Also, tune into Sirius XM SEC Radio for news, talk, analysis, and more. Straight from your car. Make that straight from your phone. No car required. You can't listen in your car, by the way. I was on this morning with Alyssa Lang and Chris Doring previewing this game tonight. And there you go. You told me to say that. And then you give me that response. And folks on YouTube Live and Facebook Live can see how I was set up by Brad Law. 59-25 Auburn. Brad and mentioned 10-0 scoring drop for a 10-0 run right now by Auburn. Andy, I'll tell you something we had not seen. Nobody's running with the basketball. It's been a half-court game. And that I didn't think that would be. But it's the half-court game has been in our favor, and that's great. Auburn, 71% from the field in the second half. It's 5 of 7. Half-court might be our way. Trey Donaldson across midcourt for the Tigers. To the left sideline. Picked up there by Sean East, the second. Donaldson. Left wing, KD Johnson. Low post. Dylan Cardwell, double team. Turns, shoots, he didn't get it. Got it back, and Missouri was out of bounds. East yeah, had the his guy hand tied in the him ball. up with standing yeah, behind East was the line. out of bounds. So All 20 right. to shoot for Auburn, baseline left. Let's keep up our good thing scoring on out of bounds plays. We were one of the best in the league. Let's do it again. They're going to zone it, it looks like. Inbound to Flanagan. Through his hands, he retrieves it. Between the circles, Jalen. Drives, leaves it, Cardwell. Oh, oh, oh. woohoo! 12 0 run by Auburn. I love it when old Dylan Cardwell scores because he plays so hard he deserves a basket. 14 55 in the second half, Auburn 61, Missouri 25. East, left wing against Trey Donaldson. Gets a screen, drives top of the circle. Lobs it for Diara, left side of the key, outside the arc. Diara, one dribble, two dribbles, picked up by KD. Down the right side of the lane, picks up the dribble, backdoor pass, knocked away by Jalen Williams, picked up by KD, and that is a foul on them. If yeah, they call that's it. a foul. That's a foul on Missouri. I think the foul goes against Aiden Shaw. Yeah, his first great defense that was by a Auburn. Good call. Taking away the back door, going to the floor. Auburn basketball leading 61-25. Now, the rest of this game is going to be called take care of the ball because they're going to press and they're going to get aggressive. They've got nothing to lose. Hodge and Diara come out. Kobe Brown is back into the lineup. So is Golston for Missouri. Inbound, Trey Donaldson working against Nick Honor in the backcourt. Get out of his way. Donaldson blows to midcourt. 22 to shoot for Auburn. Right wing Flanagan. Allen drives into the key to the free throw line. Try to pass off the left side. Donaldson was already breaking into the key yeah. and it goes out of bounds. We Auburn's eighth turnover of the night. Chris Moore in. Williams comes out. Boom, back in. And he replaces Cardwell. Janiah rebound away from another double-double. We're not taking care of the ball right now. we got to do a better job of that. Honor against KD. Gets a screen, picked up by Chris Moore and a switch. Into the corner, three ball. It's up, it's missed. Long rebound tapped, and it's Chris Moore for Auburn. Two Great trade, rebound. Donaldson. Races ahead. Top of the circle, free throw lane. Left wing, KD3, short. Rebound out of bounds off of uh, Donaldson. Missouri basketball. If you're going to shoot that early in the shot clock, you better hit the rim at least. And it's, he needs to move that ball around a little bit. He'll get that same shot 10 seconds later. KD is the leading scorer in the game along with Janai Broom with 14 apiece. 
61-25 Auburn. 13-45 in the second half. East to the right sideline against Lior Berman. Spins into a double team. Boy, our defense is so good right now. Kobe Brown, skip pass, honor, three ball. Didn't get it. Rebound, Chris Moore. Outlet, Trey Donaldson. Ahead, KD against Donner. Drives into the lane to the basket. He was fouled. KD in a heap, rolls over underneath the basket. Slow to get up. I think he's okay. He'll go to the line for two. Tell you one thing, he could draw a foul any place. Just name it, he could draw a foul. Foul was called against Donner. It's his second. KD at the free throw line for a couple. He missed his first two free throws tonight. He He's attacks the rim about as good as anybody in the SEC. Sure does. Where, and sometimes it doesn't go down for him if he's not making free throws. A 77% free throw shooter. He's missed all yeah. three free throws tonight. But if he's making free throws and making those layups, he, he is a handful. Gets the second free throw to fall to Katie right, Johnson. Now, we will not press. Normally, we would after a made free throw, but we don't do it now. East Lead across midcourt, left wing, Golston. And a reach in on Leor Berman. The referee must be tired to call that one. He didn't want to go. The Auburn head coach was upset with Leor there, not the official. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll get the official. He take care of that. Okay. You have his back is what I you're saying. I got his back. Yeah. Honor, left wing. Hands to East, to the top, Kobe Brown. Back door, nicely played to Aiden Shaw for the bucket. It's a set play, and they ran it very well. 62-27, Auburn against the press. Donaldson all the way to the hole. He missed the left-hand layup. And then KD knocks down Golston almost at midcourt. Well, we it. made two bad plays in a row. We don't want to get them happy now and feeling good. I think they're a little ways away from feeling good, trailing 62-27. I hope we keep them feeling bad. I hope they leave here needing aspirin. What about Doan's pills? Yeah, jo yeah, Doan's. 62-27. 62-27. Out at the top, Kobe Brown for three. That's good. Yeah, now we, they don't get that point if we're playing the way we're supposed to play. That was not good offense down here. Auburn against the press. Trey Donaldson working on Nick Honor. He's across midcourt, left-hand dribble, 22 to shoot. Auburn up 62 to 30. Donaldson, back door, broom to the hole, got it. Oh, is he had a soft touch. Woo. 16 for Janai Broom, he's Auburn's leading scorer. Tigers up 64 to 30. East on the sideline, picked up and cut off by Donaldson. Drives into the lane. Jump step up, missed it, may have been blocked. Rebound, fought for it. It comes to honor on the baseline for Missouri. To the wing, to the top, Kobe Brown three. He missed it. Rebound, Broom, he's got a double-double. And he's fouled on the rebound. Yeah, three or four times before they ever called it. It's one and one about time, isn't it? It is indeed. We will go to the one-on-one, -on -one, or one and one. Yeah. Let's shoot free throws as we come back. Janai Broom to the line. Auburn 64, Missouri 30. 11.52 to go in the second half as Auburn basketball continues in a moment. And we're back with breaking news. Coke Zero Sugar might be the best Coke ever. That's right, Jim. Coke Zero Sugar is a must-try for any Coke fan, so make sure you... Jim. <laughs> Jim. We're on the air. Ooh, yes, this tastes like the best Coke ever to me. Your thoughts, Jen? Well, can I have a sip? <laughs> Jen, we're in the middle of reporting the news. I need to try it first. Southern homes are particularly vulnerable to termites. In this climate, you need guaranteed protection. You need Cook's Pest Control and Centricon. Termites attack the Centricon stations, exposing themselves to an agent that eliminates their entire colony. Upgrade from old-fashioned liquid service to the proven protection of Centricon and Cook's Pest Control. Call Cook's today for a free evaluation. Looky, 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 here comes Cookie, Cook's Pest Control. What widens the eyes, tightens the stomach, and flutters the heart, adrenaline. 
Feel it for yourself in the Toyota RAV4, Camry, Corolla, and Tacoma. Lease a new 2023 Toyota RAV4 LE for $309 a month for 36 months. Toyota, let's go places. Offer valid through February 28, 2023. Well qualified lessees with approved credit through Southeast Toyota Finance. 3608 due at signing. No security deposit. With select equipment, 350 disposition fee. Excludes tax tag and registration title and dealer fee. See dealer for details. Auburn basketball is brought to you by Chick fil A. All Chick fil A locations in Alabama proudly support the Auburn Tigers. Tigers. All right, we, we we had a car given away in the last game on Saturday. Courtesy of our good friends at Marty Lynch or at uh, Marty at to- Lynch Toyota. Marty Smith with ESPN as the sideline reporter. He is going to attempt to do the same thing that the young man won and is out there with Marty giving him some some pointers. 94 foot putt. For Marty, who is milking it for everything it's worth. Yeah, Marty's a Virginia Tech graduate. And I coach in the county right next to him. He was a sports writer in the county I coached in high school. I saw him come over here and talk to you for a little while. Yeah, he didn't know who I was. I introduced myself. Well, very kind of you. <laughs> You're the Hall of Famer. <laughs> All right, Marty is uh, well, He's I think milking we're, it. We're waiting to come out of the timeout break, I think. I've seen cows that you didn't take this long to milk. Indeed. He's going to putt one-handed. Oh, he is? Yeah. I'm By the way, Auburn leads 64 to 30. If I go to sleep, wake me up. If he makes it, you'll wake up, I guarantee Oh, he'll you. wake the crowd up, won't he? Yeah. Well, come on, Marty. You've been on TV all your life. Tonight ain't one of them. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's setting it up now. 11.52 to go in the second half. Auburn up 64 to 30. A double-double for Janai Broom, 16 points and 10 rebounds. He's going to shoot a one-and bonus coming out of the timeout. Great. All right, now Marty is going to putt conventionally with two hands. And we're off. No. Oh, he missed it by about a foot and a half to the left. He, actually, he tried to put a hole through the board just by the sheer force of the putt. It did not work. All right, by the way, back to uh, Janai. His eighth double-double in SEC play, it gives him 44 in his career now. And now he's about to go to the free throw line for a one in bonus. He has one of three in double figures for Auburn tonight. He leads everybody with 16 points, 15 for KD, 10 for Allen Flanagan. Missouri has yet to put a player in double figures tonight. Auburn basketball by... Auburn basketball brought to you by Auburn Opelika Tourism. Start your next visit to the Plains at aotourism.com. First free throw is good for Janai Broom. We're starting to see him improve at the charity strike, yes, too. Yes, his Sonny. shot looks great. They must have been working with uh, doing it. He doesn't bend his knees hard, uh, a lot before, and he's doing it very well now. And he makes both free throws. 66 to 30, Auburn. Well, 11 51 to go, second. We're going to go the free throw line a lot, and I think they're going to be. Hammering on us a little bit. Auburn 10 of 14 from the line tonight. Golston with a screen from Brown gets it back to Kobe. Off the right side, Golston drives to the free throw line. 18 footer, missed it. Rebound tap from Broom to KD. Ahead for Donaldson. Underneath for Moore, lost it out of bounds. Oh, it was a good pass. Yeah, I think, very well. I think Chris wanted the alley oop. Instead, he got a chest pass and he bobbled it out of bounds. All right, we got to get something going. We got get things are a little bit lightened up here now. Auburn by 36. Shaw, low post Brown to the corner, honor three. Good. Nice yeah, what point. they're doing is they're posting every mismatch that they can. They're trying to get Kobe Brown started, but he's not doing it. 66-33 Auburn, 11-07 in the second half. Donaldson, left hash, gives to Broom. Into the corner, Berman three. Yep. That's a great assist. Leor has tied his career high with six points tonight. Actually, he needs another bucket to get to his career high. Eight, that was at LSU earlier this year. Down the right sideline, baseline for Kobe Brown. Backs in against Trey Donaldson. Out to the top and he throws it away. That's Auburn ball. Kobe Brown's one of the best players in this conference. Agreed. And he is being shut down. He's being guarded by a smaller person. He is looking to become the first SEC player in 30 years to shoot 55% from the field 
and 40% from three. The last one to do it, Wesley Person in 1993. I know that man. His name hangs from the Raptors here at Neville Arena. Wendell Green back into the lineup. 68-33, Auburn. 10-29, second half. Free throw line, Broom lost it. And uh, Brown throws it ahead for East. East spots up for a three and buries it. Now we're, we're uncharacteristically making some foolish plays right now. Inbound, Janai Broom. Works against Kobe Brown. Into the corner, Berman passes up the three. Auburn sets right, up its run, offense. Run a little offense, fellas. Midway through the second half, Auburn on top, 68 to 36. Green at the top. Lobs it for Broom, low post. Knocked out of his hand by Honor. Brown behind the defense, lays it in for Missouri. Uh, we're slacking off. We don't want to do this. This is too good a team to do this again. Auburn gets Broom free, drives and scores with the double hand dunk. On second thought, just keep doing what you've been doing. <laughs> Janai a little bit hobbled as he comes to the other end of the floor. He has 18 points and 10 rebounds tonight. He and fouled he fouled just to, to come out. out of the game. He fouled East. And he immediately comes to the Auburn bench. He's had a bad ankle or foot for a long time. And it, it's easily. He immediately goes to the end yeah. of the bench to Auburn's athletic trainer, Clark Pearson. His night may be done, 9.28 to go, second half. Yeah, and he Auburn does. up, he's got a double-double, and Auburn's up 70 to 38. He doesn't need any more, but we want to let, we don't want to get them feeling good. We want to make them believe here with every, every muscle aching. Inbound into the corner for East, left side. Drives on KD to the basket, lobs it up there and draws the foul on KD. Third foul on KD Johnson. East kind of jumped back into KD a little bit, and they yeah. called the foul, and KD is third foul. The ball for Missouri is not moving at all. Whoever gets it is trying to go one-on-one, -on -one, and they're trying to mismatch uh, tall against small, that type of thing. It's not working. Free throw is missed by East, the first of two. Tiger Talk Thursday night, Baumhauer's victory grill. Bruce Pearl, Butch Thompson. That's your lineup Thursday night. This guy's a great free throw shooter. And he missed, oh, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. It, you hitting the moonshine already? You know, it, it sure sounded like it. Must have been real good stuff. <laughs> I 12 in the second half. Power up 70 to 39. Wendell passes up a three, left wing KD. 16 footer short, got his own rebound. Down the left side of the lane to the hole. He laid it up and didn't go. Well, he's having one of those nights. Outlet, Missouri. East up the floor for the Mizzou Tigers. Lobs it right side. Drive to the hole by Hodge. Runs through. <laughs> Referee Chris was tired. Referee was tired. He didn't want to go to the other end. That was actually a charge. It's a block on Chris. Yeah, I know. And both teams in the one and bonus now. And East at the line, excuse me, Hodge at the line for a one and bonus, 72%. I, I'd like to see a, I'd like to see a replay on that so I can get on the officials. Hodge with the free throw, that's good. Eight forty-eight to go in the second half. Auburn by 30, 70 to 40. East made the second. Or excuse me, Hodge made the second. Inbound Cardwell for Moore to Wendell Green. Right, up the floor it. against the press. Cross midcourt with three seconds to spare. Auburn leads it by 29. Wendell drives right side of the lane. Around east to the basket. Leaves for Cardwell. Dillon with the right hand hook over the top and it goes, it didn't go down. Honor the other way for Missouri. Left wing east for three. Nope. Rebound to Dylan Cardwell. Outlet up the sideline for Wendell Green. Wendell, no look. Chris Moore underneath. Lost it. Got it back in traffic. Out to the top for Wendell. 19 to shoot for Auburn. Wendell drives on Hodge and gets fouled by Hodge. 
Well, they had to call one. They already had three that they turned down. And that's the fourth foul on Demoy Hodge. Flanagan and Jalen Williams are in. Moore and Berman sit down. Jasper comes in replacing KD Johnson. Well, this game isn't over, but I would tell you at this point, we've put a serious whipping on a real good team. Uh, you you want to finish the game crisply. You We're know what? You want to finish the game playing well in spite of the score at this point. Yeah, it's, it's hard to do. Yeah. It, it is really hard to do. I agree. You know, your bench, your bench has got to come in and do that, wanting to get time. At the free throw line, Wendell puts it in. Wendell's four points tonight have come to the free throw line, but he has three rebounds and eight assists on well, the night. This game is going to be real physical from the standpoint of Missouri from this point on. So we got to make free throws. One hundred and twenty three made free throws this year for Wendell Green yep. leads the Southeastern Conference. We got to guard the three point shot right now. Auburn leads 72 41 against Missouri. Honor to the hole. Wild shot missed it. Rebound Jalen Williams in traffic loses the ball whistle foul. You don't need to put the ball on the they floor on that, their end. Did they call that on Jalen? They sure did. They called that on Jalen Williams. Well, that's another example of the official not wanting to change ends. 7.53 in the second. Auburn 72, Missouri 41. Timeout on the floor. And this is the Auburn Sports Network. Tiger Talk has been Auburn's weekly coaches show for over 30 years. Join Bruce Pearl and other Auburn coaches every Thursday night at 6 Central. Send questions by tweeting at AU Sports Network or by emailing aubtigertalk at gmail.com. Tiger Talk is presented by Alpha Insurance. Don't miss Tiger Talk, Thursdays at 6 Central, only on the Auburn Sports Network. This just in, Auburn Bank has completed their 114th year of serving their community. This next one goes out to Auburn Bank, champions of you. Touchdown, Auburn Bank. The champions of you are 114-0. Welcome to Auburn Bank. How can we help? I hear y'all are undefeated. Helping you achieve your financial goals is our goal. Visit championsofyou.com to see how we can serve you. Auburn Bank, champions of you. Member FDIC. We always picture the SEC student athlete for their speed, their vertical, their agility, but it's time we picture them for more. For their campus voice, their community outreach, and for the simple fact that 20 years later, they're still someone's pride and joy. More than students, more than athletes. In the SEC, it just means more. Law back at Neville Arena as we check the Yellowwood scoreboard. Games outside the SEC. In the ACC tonight, Syracuse nursing a one-point lead at home over number 23 NC State, 73-72. They're inside the final minute in that matchup. Cameron Indoor Stadium, Duke has just knocked down a three to take a lead over Notre Dame to four points, 66-62. Blue Devils over the Irish with 10 seconds to go in Durham. In the Big Ten tonight, it is... Penn State leading Illinois 84-71. They're inside the final four minutes in that matchup. Also, Nebraska leads Rutgers at halftime in Piscataway, 40-35. In the Big East tonight, it is number 18, <laughs> Creighton, and number 24, Providence. They are tied at 73, and uh, they have less than a minute to go. Possible overtime in that Big East matchup. Halftime in Philly, Villanova leads Butler 25 to 24. So some close games outside of Neville Arena tonight. Here it's not close. It's Auburn by 31, 72 to 41 over Missouri, 753 to play. Back to Andy Burcham and Sonny Smith. Yeah, if you thought that Auburn's offense might find a lull in the second half, not yet. 9 of 17 from the field, 52.9%. 2 of 3 from 3 and 7 of 9 from the free throw line in the second half for Auburn. Tigers lead it 72-41. Don't forget, Auburn baseball opens the season Friday afternoon at 4. It's a game that has been moved up to a 4 o'clock start. 
the Tigers host the Hoosiers of Indiana at Plainsman Park. Brad Law will have the call on the Auburn Sports Network at 4.45 on Friday. Two o'clock Saturday and uh, one o'clock on Sunday. Auburn and Indiana at Plainsman Park. Golston makes the first free throw. And the second. They're, they're a good free throw shooting team overall. Auburn the inbound, Jalen Williams to Wendell Green. East will back off of the press, greet him at midcourt. All right, now we don't want any fancy passes. Let's run our offense and get on the board. 72-43 Auburn. Jasper low post Cardwell into the corner for Flanagan. Allen loses the ball, gets it back. Ball deflected back to Allen, penetrates, leaves for Cardwell to the basket with the right hand, didn't get it, but got the rebound and jammed it home. Dillon was six. He's a great second shot player, he really is. 72 to 43, Auburn, 719 in the second half of play. Cardwell on the night, 4.6 rebounds for Dillon. 16 to shoot for Missouri. Brown at the top, it's Golston against Jasper. Down the lane, pull up jumper, he didn't get it. Rebound Jalen Williams for Auburn and he's fouled by Golston. I tell you what, the most dangerous spot on the floor is to get a rebound. Every time Auburn gets a rebound, all three guys foul him. Auburn has out-rebounded Missouri tonight, 39 to 19. And I thought that would be a factor in the game. I thought it would be really uh, close. You're, you're it hadn't right. even been a factor. Janai Broom with 10, seven for Jalen Williams, seven for Dylan Cardwell. And Jalen at the line for a one in bonus. Free throw from Jalen, it's good. Well, Jalen now with eight points on the night. Go ahead, Sonny. Jalen is a very consistent player. He plays the game within himself. Makes both free he throws. He doesn't make mistakes. He's an outstanding basketball player. 76-43 Auburn under seven minutes to go in the second half. Brown left side to his brother. And uh, Kobe Brown hits Caleb Brown for a three. Yeah, from Huntsville, Alabama. Lee High School, 76-46 Auburn, 644 in the second half of play. I had a good one from Huntsville Lee. Who? I'm trying to think. I knew. You. <laughs> Bobby <laughs> Green between the circles. Bobby Cadage, I believe. Oh yeah. Top of the seat, circle down the right side, cut off on the lane. Left wing, Zep Jasper three ball. He missed it, but there was a he foul. He stepped out of bounds, the only thing I can think of. I think there was a foul underneath the basket, maybe against Dillon. I'm not certain. It's Missouri ball in any case. With East up the floor. Off the left wing. It was a turnover by Dillon. And the corner three missed. Rebound Dillon, his eighth of the night. Push it. They don't want to get back. They want to foul. Wendell across midcourt. Up the sideline working on Golston all the way to the hole off the glass. He didn't get it. Rebounded by Kobe Brown. Up the right sideline, Golston for Missouri. Backs his way inside the three-point arc against Zepp Jasper. Now into the lane, into the corner. Three ball, Shaw, good. They're starting to play basketball pretty well right now. We got to start taking a better care of the basketball. 76-48 Auburn, 5.42 to go in the second half of play. Zepp Jasper inside the center strike, working on Golston. To the left hash in front of the Auburn bench. Spins inside the arc, 19-footer, it was blocked. Rebounded Cardwell up and in. I love that. Dylan with eight points, he's two under his career high. 78-48 Tigers. Cardwell, a career high 10 points against Ole Miss and Yale in his career. 78-48 Auburn, 5.07 in the second half. Kobe Brown drives on, J on Williams. Kicks it to the corner, three by Shaw is missed, rebounded by Wendell Green across midcourt. Pushes it, drives, leaves it. Oh, oh Flanagan oh, oh. with the sledgehammer dunk. Woo what a pass. What a dunk. That'll get a timeout in any gym. Wendell Green's ninth assist of the night. Auburn 80, Missouri 48, 451 to go second half. Timeout, Missouri. Stay tuned, Auburn basketball continues in a moment. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, 
please welcome our home. When you step onto the court and into the spotlight, the moment to show that hard work and long days pay off. Because when that final shot leaves your hands and we leave our seats, that powerful moment connects us all. Alabama Power is a proud supporter of the Auburn Tigers. Power for a better Alabama. Hey, Tiger fans, this is Andy Bertram. We need you on February 22nd, Auburn University's Tiger Giving Day. Tiger Giving Day is an annual day of giving where you have an opportunity to pick projects that make a difference in people's lives on campus, in our communities, and across the state. From providing health care in rural areas to making autism services accessible, we've got an exciting lineup of projects that need your help to meet their one-day fundraising goal. So visit tigergiving.org on February 22nd. Pick your projects and give. Most creatures blend in with their natural surroundings. However, one North American beaver colony is doing anything but. This group, having discovered new Yellowwood Protector semi-transparent stain and water repellent, has coated their log done? in a lovely smoky gray color. Ooh. Modern look and powerful protection, backed by the yellow tag. Well done. Introducing the first stain worthy of the yellow tag, Yellowwood Protector semi-transparent stain and water repellent. Find a dealer near you. A look at the defensive statistics is brought to you by Cook's Pest Control and Centricon. You don't have to live with termites. Play has resumed. Carter up, missed. Carter again put it up. He scored. We'll get well, to the defensive. They're trying to post the small guy. They're trying to get a mismatch at the basket. Now they're working on the next game they play, and that, that's a good thing for them to do that. With regard to your defensive stats, look no further than rebounds. Auburn 42, Missouri 20. Auburn leads by 30, 80 to 50. Green to the hole to the basket, put it up, missed it. Cardwell went up and put it up and missed it again. And Shaw gets the rebound for Missouri. Outlet to Golston up the floor. Working up the left side. Golston working on Zepp Jasper. Backs him into the lane, spins to the baseline. Up for a shot and Zepp stripped it away and knocked it out of bounds. You know, we don't say much about it, but Zepp Jasper is an excellent defender. He puts it, when he gets on a man, he sticks him like glue. He's really good. 3.57 to go in the second half of play. Auburn 80, Missouri 50. Coming up tomorrow, women's golf continues play at the Nexus Collegiate at Albany Golf Club in New Providence, Bahamas. Day two of SEC swimming and diving in College Station, Texas. Thursday, don't forget Tiger Talk from Baumhauer's Victory Grill at six on the Auburn Sports Network. We'll have Bruce Pearl and Butch Thompson on the show Thursday night. Women's basketball, it's the uh, pink for K game, play for K game uh, for breast cancer research. Everyone asked to wear pink to the game Thursday night. Auburn and Texas A&M here at Neville Arena Thursday night at seven. Britt Bowen, Dr. Larry Deshera with the call on uh, FM Talk 93.9 in the Auburn area at 645. Softball will host Austin P. And Villanova at Jane B. Moore Field starting at three. Jacob Hillman with the call on Tiger 95.9. Brad Law with the call of Auburn baseball on Friday against Indiana at 345 airtime on the Auburn Sports Network and a four o'clock first pitch. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Auburn Sports Network. We'll check the Yellowwood scoreboard here as we await uh, play to resume. And let's update, they did go to overtime up in Providence in that Big East battle. Number 24, Friars over 18th ranked Creighton, 79-78 with three minutes to go in overtime. Uh, also in the SEC, Vanderbilt did finish off South Carolina, 75-64 in Columbia. So the Commodores now seven and six in SEC play as Rex Frederick is yeah. recognized here as the celebrity in. And listen to this ovation for Rex Great Frederick. Player. Wow, a, a, an All-American basketball player and a fine baseball player. Yeah. A two-A two -A, uh, athlete here at Auburn in his career. Uh, one final check, Yellowwood scoreboard. LSU on top of Georgia early, 18 to 12. They played 10 minutes and change in Athens. We'll, uh, we'll recap both the Vanderbilt win and update the LSU-Georgia matchup 
all coming up on the Regions Bank post-game show. We're three minutes and 57 seconds away from that. And Auburn leads Missouri 80 to 50. Boy, this was an Auburn team that was struggling scoring the basketball for three straight games. And against a team that was just scoring, I wouldn't say it will, but scoring so very well. And to see what Auburn has done tonight, boy, that is, it is certainly encouraging before Auburn goes to Vanderbilt Saturday night at eight o'clock, 7.30, the pregame on the Auburn Sports Network. Inbound to Carter against Jalen Williams. Carter out top of the circle, eight to shoot. Right side pass to Caleb Brown. Back to Carter. Drives on Jalen Williams into the lane. Tries to go underneath him and they ran out of time. Jalen Williams created a lot of that by doing tremendous defense, uh, giving a guy a chance to shoot a layup and then taking it away from him. 3.43 to go second half. It's Trey Donaldson, Zepp Jasper, Allen Flanagan, Johan Treor, and Jalen Williams, the Auburn Five, the inbound two Trey. I'd say we're a little bit small right now. Let's see if we can rebound with him. I bet we do. Donaldson across midcourt, right hand dribble, centers it off the right side, low post for Flanagan in the lane. Turn, shoots with the left hand and banked it in. He's a good post up player because he's so strong for a guy 6'6. 14 tonight for Allen Flanagan, 82 to 50 Auburn, 319 in the second half. East, right wing three, didn't get it. Treor pulls down the rebound. And Flanagan will bring it up the floor for the Tigers. Allen working on Sean East, the second. It's good to see Allen play a little bit of the point, and he needs that because he's going to be forced to bring it up a lot. Jana Williams from Flanagan back to Allen, right side outside the arc. Working on Missouri, drives underneath and gets fouled by Aiden Shaw. And Allen will go to the line for two. Auburn in the double bonus. Auburn's largest rebounding margin in SEC play, plus 12 in the SEC opener back in December against Florida. Auburn is out rebounding Missouri tonight, 44 to 23. Flanagan free throw, it's good. And a game when there hadn't been many rebounds the way we've been playing offensively. Jalen Williams out, Chris Moore in for the Tigers. Second half tonight presented by Wind Creek Hotel and Casino with three Alabama locations in Atmore, Montgomery, and Wetumpka. You escape every day at Wind Creek Hotel and Casino and online at windcreek.com. Berman replaces Flanagan. Allen ends tonight Flanagan with played. 16 points and three rebounds. Flanagan played extremely well. 2.53 in the second half. Auburn has this one in hand, 82 to 50. And a steal, Trey Donaldson. He's got a breakaway to the hole. Right hand hammer. Woo! Woo! I love that. That's his first bucket of the night. 86 to 50 Auburn. Dolson at the left wing for Missouri. Behind the back dribble. Working on Chris Moore. Now goes baseline. Gets a little separation. Puts it up. Missed it. Another rebound for Treyor. The outlet to Donaldson. Cardwell in at the next break for Auburn. 219 in the second half. Auburn about to get its 18th win on the year. It's eighth in SEC play. Berman in the corner. Three ball, Leor. Yes! He's a great three point shooter. You should see him in practice. He burns the place down. A career high nine points tonight for Leor. And a foul on Moore at the other end of the floor. Berman, nine points, a career high for Leor. A little wry smile. Well, he can shoot the ball. He's a catch and shoot type three point shooter that can really knock it down. You, you see him in practice and he will amaze you at times. Auburn on a 13 to two run. East free throw is good. Cardwell in, Moore comes out. Here's Chandler Leopard in the lineup. The 6'3 senior out of Athens, Alabama. He replaces Zepp Jasper with 2.01 to go second half. Free throw by East is good. 89-52 Tigers under two minutes to go. That's your Tigers with the lead. This has been exceptional. Oh my goodness! From the get-go, game from the that's it from the get-go. Donaldson near the left sideline, crossover dribble down the lane, gets cut off, out to the top. Berman into the corner, 
Treyor for three. Nope. Weak side rebound pulled in by Shaw for Missouri. East leaves for Golston. Crossover dribble, free throw line, and a reach in foul on Trey Donaldson. That's what you call hunting. Fisher was hunting for a call, and he made one. I don't want to criticize Fisher in a game this this big. Don't you don't you say shut up, Sonny, or something like I that? I do. I do not say that. Oh, okay. Jan's the only one that says that. Who? Jan? Yes. She says that often. Okay. And louder. Free throw by Golston is good. Auburn, a minute 30 to go in the second half. And Golston knocks on both free throws. Golston's a good player. We have beaten a very good team tonight. Hold this team under 60 is something. 123 in the second half. 89-54 Auburn. In the corner, Leopard three. Oh, off the rim, missed it. Rebound to Berman. Lior goes baseline. Backs it out, right wing, out to the top for Donaldson, and it's stolen by East to the basket. He didn't get it, got his own rebound. Back up, and he got it. Auburn's gonna try and hunt a shot for Chandler Leopard. Yeah, they're, they're gonna get it too, I believe. 89-56 Auburn, 49 seconds now to go in this one. They're gonna play a zone. Yeah, and I think Donaldson will dribble away most of this shot clock. 13 on the shot clock for Auburn. East now comes out to get him. There's a screen by Cardwell. Donaldson drives. Right side for Treyor penetrates. Pull up jumper, Johan in and out. Rebound up and missed by Leppard. Rebound again and it comes to Missouri. Final 20 seconds to go on this one. Golson up the floor for Mizzou. Three ball over Treyor, he didn't get it. Rebound Cardwell, final 12 seconds. Just get it across midcourt and dribble it away. Cardwell, bounce pass. Across midcourt, Donaldson. Donaldson inside the arc, now back out to the top, and Auburn wins. The largest margin of victory for Auburn in the SEC since a 92-58 win against Missouri on January 30th, 2019. Final score tonight from Neville Arena. Auburn 89, Missouri 56. Three in double figures tonight for the Tigers. Led by 20 from Janai Broom. You can score points as well with the Chick-fil-A app. Download or open the app to place an order. Earn and redeem points with the Chick-fil-A app. War Eagle, eat more chicken. Final score tonight, Auburn 89, Missouri 56. Stay tuned, the Regions Bank Post Game Show is next. And this is the Auburn Sports Network. AuburnTigers.com is the official website of Auburn Athletics. Read the latest feature stories on your favorite Tiger teams. Get critical game day info. Search videos and audio. Find how to get connected through social and digital media or by joining Tigers Unlimited. Shop the AU Photo Store or just find the next event on the athletic calendar. Plus, all athletics broadcasts are streamed free at AuburnTigers.com slash watch. AuburnTigers.com, the official online home of Auburn Athletics. Hello there, my name is Seychelle, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is the punch of flavors that's unlike any other. You get the crispy tenderness of the chicken and that hint of sourness from the pickles. (laughs) Ta-da! Hey, I'm Juan, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is you know you're going to get